Uh, we should be we should be audible now. The the Sylvie and Keith of us all. Hi. Hello. How's everybody? How you can hear us chat? How are you doing today, everybody? It's been a minute. For this. For this. For We've this. been. We're always here. But I just mean it's been a minute with nine nine nine. Keith, very quiet. I will turn you up. It's probably my. No, my Discord. Make one. Hmm. 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 Why are you? Why are you so quiet? That this literally doesn't make sense. You're pumped up to. I. I it might just be my volume. Did you check? Did you check to see if they were lying? <clears throat> I didn't check to see if they were lying. I decided to trust them, which maybe is my mistake. They're right. They're right. I'm quiet. Yeah, okay. I'm turning just my... Com I, it's my system volume I just have turned. I do this thing where I'll... Uh, just have my, my shit too loud on my actual software. Mm -hmm. um, and then not notice it until someone says something. And I'm like, oh, right. Yeah, I have... I have, I have very sensitive ears like that of a bat. Um... I should have turned you up now. You should hopefully be louder. I don't know. I hope so. Is that, is that good? Am I good? Keith, you don't fuck with me because I can tell you're quiet. I can tell in Discord. I can tell. You're a shit. <laughs> How is that? Am I better now? This, you, is, this is me talking for real. You might be a little quiet still. I might need to pump you up a little bit more. Um, just because... Test, test, test. You're in the... You're hit, starting to hit the oranges. In, um... just, a, just a bit maybe up. Okay. It's up now. Sorry for everyone having to hear the boom of my my volume. Get it. I'm just gonna turn it up all the way, and then I'll just deal with it. K Keith, talk. Hi. Was that was Hi, that way too loud, everybody? Um. Well, let's see. Well, uh, I think it might be louder than you now. Let me hear yeah. you. Hi. Oh, uh, we're pretty close. We're pretty close. Maybe just back me off just a little bit. Okay, wait. How just, about now? Just mid, just a tiny I, I, mid. I backed it up too much, and then I I brought it back, and I'm at like ninety level. I'm at ninety percent of volume. This is the, the here's the thing: is that the chat is saying that we're it's good, but the difference is that I you know get loud louder, stay loud. Yeah, other people, you know, other people relax. And kind of ease off the mic a little bit, and over time, sort of get comfortable in a stream, and they end up, you know, you know sort normal. of. I'm just like locked in all stream, getting loud, yelling at stuff. That's so. why they. Everyone's always saying this about you. You're the most yeah. animated streamer in the world. Well, I'm a cartoon. <laughs> right. You said that like one too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think I think that's good for for intro. Hey everybody, I'm Sylvia, Sylvie Bullet, Twitter everywhere, friends of the table. You know that. Hey, check out Media Club Plus and also the new Media Club Plus bonus episode that went up today at the time. Yeah, you can we go to doing this. You can go to friends of the table to get access to the third bonus episode from Media Club Plus, where we talk about um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, three episodes from early season three. It's really good. Sorry. Diamond is uh, unbreakable. Yeah. And, and let me tell uh, you, that diamond sure is unbreakable. Yeah, I have not seen. I'm I'm on episode like thirty of the season, and I haven't seen the diamond break yet. I'm just gonna say, I don't know if it will. Uh, it's the, the thing is, you can check out friendsofthetable.shop to see our new merch and stuff. True. The last two times I've uh, streamed, I've realized after that everybody forgot to say friendsofthetable.shop where we have our new merch. Hey, impress. We should, you know impress everybody with how many shirts we can sell you should go and buy some shirts from friends of the table dot shop and then everyone will be like wow that keith and sylvie stream everybody went and bought a shirt oh my god please do actually yeah um the number i want to see the number shoot up for a random saturday <laughs> <laughs> buy 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 these shirts or i'm gonna make i'm gonna make junpei explode um yeah. Got anything else we should plug before we... Uh, I've been streaming a lot on Run Button. Run Button took a yeah. long vacation because Kyle's job at the post office has been literally hell oh. and has just been, like, too tired to do any Run Button for, like, 18 months. Uh, but things have finally slightly slowed down at the post office. 
Uh, so we've been streaming a lot and we, we're getting back to things soon. We've got stuff in the work. So go subscribe to Run Button, youtube.com slash Run Button. We just uploaded a video of us playing Chibi Robo. And Let's a couple other go. Games. Chibi Robo rules. Is I'm that so what happy. About this? Like, we haven't talked about this on recording anyway. Oh, okay. I, I thought that I thought that you recommended Chibi Robo at I'm, some point. Maybe I did. I, I'm sure I did on mic at some point. Yeah. I I know that we've I've mentioned it to you. I just can never remember yeah. if it's like in Discord chat or in vo mm -hmm. voice chat, normal yeah. speak. Ghost Trick, you definitely recommend. I did on, recommend Ghost Trick on mic. Um, um, Chibi, I was like, because it's hard. Those are old games, you know, older games. Like, or when I say old games, what I mean is early 3D games. Those are old games now. <laughs> those are old games now. Early 3D games from like that N64 and GameCube, where a game can be ruined for the future by just like it's not it's not fun or good to move around. Yeah. And there's some games where like oh they were geniuses they figured out how to do it really well in 2002. Yeah. Uh, and then Chibi Robo is the other end of that, where it kind of being clunky and hard to maneuver is the point of the game. Kind of like Killer Seven. Like oh Killer Seven is a game that people. Another game I adore. Yeah, like Killer Seven. The whole point is that it's hard to move around. So the fact that it's hard to move around doesn't chafe against the experience of the game. It's actually part of it. Yeah. So it kind of swings the other way, where Chibi Robo's like, it's kind of t it's tough to get around this house as a little guy. He's so tiny. He's so small. And his friend's even smaller. No help at all. <laughs> I do love the little little guy who flies yeah, around. Yeah, television. Yeah. Oh, I should go I should go play that again. Yeah. I haven't played it in years. Um We're not here to play Chibi Robo today though. You do that you do that on run buttons. They can check that out there. Yeah. What we're here to do is uh I mean I guess we should give a quick recap of, as I switch to the game here, of what happened last time. Spoilers, because we finished a route. Um, we got... <laughs> I'm just going to say it. We got axe murdered. We got um, bad ending. Yeah, we got bad ending. We got bad ending. And uh, now we're going back in for more. Uh, back, back at it again at the Gigantic for... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, we haven't even decided like which way we're gonna go. We're just I gotta no. Go, like... We had a we had a quick a quick look at the map at the end and decided to go back to the first branching path. Yes, but um, we haven't decided what we're gonna do from there forward. Although it does kind of it does make our first one or two decisions for us. I think. Yeah, I think I think so. Um, but yeah, we had an ending where everybody died. We found a weird book with some hieroglyphics in it. And uh, actually, Lotus and Ace disappeared before everybody died. So I don't know if they're okay or not that, in that timeline. I just want to say, that end, we, we got that ending. And then the yeah. stream, we, we finished the stream. That ending is insane. I don't it think is. we gave, we didn't have quite enough time to really <laughs> was tired. sit and think about how fucking bizarre that ending was. It was so <laughs> weird. I mean... The, the 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 nicest character uh probably at least one of the one, two yeah, nicer sure. like almost nobody there gave you the feeling of like oh this person is nice then her brother dies and she's been moping for you know half the game yeah and then she just on a dime decides i'm going to kill everyone and then that Turns Junpei on so much that he, his brain melts out through his nose. Her mass murder of You're all right. of these people, his brain, you, you can see his brain le leaking out through his nose and then heavily implied that you're going to go with her because she says so. And then she's like, just kidding, kill you too. What? What? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Also, I mean, hey, giveaway in the chat right now. Type exclamation mark. Oh, enter. Look at that. Thank you to uh, Hella Ravar uh, Muna for gifting uh, two Marielda Burns t shirts to the chat. I think you a can great do it. Friends of the table. Shop. Yeah. Fantastic Those shirts are shirt. awesome. I'm so glad that we did the poster of that too because it's such a cool design. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, it was the. While everyone's uh, trying to get a t shirt, I'll just say 
uh, I agree that it it really did go escalate extremely quickly. It's, Though it, it escalated so quickly, it is worth mentioning the sort of like theory that she had been posing that two of the people in here killed her brother, right? Because three people need to open a door, so they to right. kill him, they'd have had to shove him through. Um, right, but that's only only if we hadn't already established that one of the people in there was probably zero. Yeah. And that why would zero need to follow the same rules as everyone no, I, else? Listen, we're correct. We're intelligent about this, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, I'm just, I, I, I'm just, presenting the text. It's just not enough to murder based off of, you know, you get, you get out of the boat and, and like, then you form your murder. Go do your, go do, go make a second nonary game. No, that Where would never you're happen. The zero, that would never happen. That would never happen. It's two times. Oh, you're gonna put on. another big boat. Come on. Um, <laughs> it'd be so funny if the second one of these took place on a boat again. Um, <laughs> uh, the more like boatery game. Um, the <laughs> fuck off. Like, like, just, just, just kill everyone later. Like, why do you have to do it here? No, like, you got it. You make a good point about sort of like prioritizing things and like, yeah. Um, you know what it remind reminded me of? Uh, sorry, actually, it didn't remind me of this. I reminded myself of this <laughs> when I was streaming iRacing racing with Kyle. Yeah, was uh, uh, was the horrible worst TV show I've seen in years. Poker Face starring the excellent Natasha Leone. Oh, really? You're a, you're a Poker Face hater, huh? Oh my god, it was so bad. I've only seen a few episodes. It doesn't it's not extremely engaging. So it it starts off it starts off at its high point and then almost every episode in a row is worse and worse and worse until the plots are the most psychotic like reactionary right-wing oh, wonderful nonsense i've ever seen on television including a story about like these uh two old activists who turn out to be left-wing terrorists who wanted to blow up a bunch of kids during the vietnam war and when they get found out what? they instantly go on like a poisoning spree um of course a thing that never happened by the way no this is like hey i'm glad i didn't keep watching that show <laughs> Yeah, so that episode broke my whole brain and turned me into a massive hater of the whole thing. Yeah, I would, um, I would do couple, the same to me. There's a, a couple bright spots, you know. The you know uh, Tim Meadows is in it. I love Tim Meadows. Yeah. Again, his episode sucked shit because of the writing of of it, but he was really great in, in that episode. Um, but the 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 thing, the message, the overarching theme of the show is that it doesn't matter how nice someone is it doesn't matter how obviously evil someone else is at a moment's notice anyone can become a psychotic and bloodthirsty murderer yeah uh and that 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 now that i thought about that the other day now i'm like oh yeah this sort of has a a poker face like now i'm like i because i'm i before i was like you know one of them is zero and it's probably the girl yeah. whose name I'm forgetting June. Um, and, uh, and I still think that, but now I'm like, all of these endings are going to be about all of these different people snapping and psychotically murdering everyone, or at least psychotically murdering someone at a moment's notice. So like, there's a bunch of different realities where for some reason, each one of these people is going to be turned into an, an evil murderer out of nowhere. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to. to I, I don't know if you've heard this before. We might have to play to find out what happens. You might have to play to find out what happens. Um, I, so I got distracted looking at like the guest stars for Poker Face, and I think it's super fucked up that they cast Cleo Duvall as Natasha Leone's uh, sister, just as someone who's seen "But I'm a Cheerleader" too many times. Uh, uh, is that in the second season of Russian Doll? Is that what you said? In Poker Face. Oh, in Poker Face. Did I say Russian Doll? No, no, I just missed the first half of your sentence, and I don't remember her having a sister. Yeah, it's, I just was looking at Wikipedia, and it was like, Clea Duvall is Charlie's estranged sister. I was like, oh, who's Charlie? Oh, it's Natasha oh, Leone. Know, it might have been, she might have been in the last episode that I never saw. Okay. I just, like, just didn't watch the last episode because it didn't deserve me to. Fair enough. I need to turn this game down for myself, so I'm sorry if it's a little quiet for people watching at home. 
Uh, maybe I can just tweak the settings in the uh, in the um, in the game itself. God, it's so good that I'm going to be talking for an extended period of time. Uh, I'm just going to skip the first opening cinematic again and get to the flowchart so we can figure out what we're doing here. I'm sorry, I don't care about Junpei waking up again. Yeah, so last time we got this lovely little axe here. <clears throat> um, we're jumping here, right, Keith? Yes, totally. Four and five doors. Oh, cool. We got to skip the like two hours of them debating whether or not to go through yes. the doors. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to stick with adventure mode, by the way, everybody. That it's, was the worst part of that game. It was like, I it really we dips when topic. they won't start the plot. The yeah. And then it picks up. And from there, everything is smooth, I think. We should talk it through. Is the Okay, I'm... I might button through oh this a God, little quickly. Enough. All we're doing is talking. Yeah, I do remember this, but yeah. Talking won't solve anything. It can't help us find our way out of here. Fair point then. Fair point really now. Sure. Yeah. You want to just sit around? God, it's good oh to God, see our friend Santa again, who left. we barely interacted with our entire playthrough. <laughs> yeah, I really have like no good idea of who Santa is, honestly. Oh, well, he, he speaks Japanese. He speaks Japanese. Um, yeah, we got a lot of Lotus and Clover. There's only one way for us to proceed. Um, actually, yeah, Deeplaw in the chat asks if anyone knows if the skip just skips red text, because that would be super useful to know for our purposes. Um, I don't want to accidentally skip too much. But I guess we've seen this scene. So should I just skip us to the choice? Um, or do you want to get? I don't know. Let's let's get a little bit of let's get yeah. a little bit of yeah catch up. Sure not going to be fun running around knowing we got to jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. I can't look at you the same way, Clover. I know. Next Snake's card. At least we have some I look at you like, wow, she's even cooler. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. Does the audio of the game sound good to you, by the way, Keith? Um, yeah, yeah. And I, and I can go stream. up or down from the... Oh, on the screen. Yeah, that would also be be useful but, to know. But what? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, cool. Who's going to go in which door? It feels like at a comfortable level for both me and audibility yeah, compared to right. our noises, but I just wanted five to. five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Remember when this dude did drugs and had a nap? <laughs> Yeah, Wait. a very uh, surprisingly short a nap. Super brief nap. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be. Oh, sorry. that's what we did last time, right? Door five is the explodey door. You want. I'm not yeah, going we need to. We need to do door four. Cool. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. Because I wanted to see the blood. I was yeah, we both wanted to see the drip. Listen, we were so we were in unison on that there one. Either. Yeah. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. <laughs> That's a good line, Reed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Santa, not, not you, you too. too. Being yeah. disappointed in Santa shoes. is very funny. It's, it's a real. It's it's really good. Like in like no zero context. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing. Uh, what the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? What the hell, man? What no. the freaking hell? What the freaking girl? hell? Doesn't mean what is this? <laughs> oh god. Fine, I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry, you'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. I, That's you know. Answer. If you're going, but I'm going too. I have bad I'm news. Going door five. What am I going to do with you? Oh yeah, we did have the scene where There's Lotus explained how brains work to us. Um, that was two. God, that was so ago. funny. It's still one of my favorite you, moments we've had so far. The problem is solved, correct? You can't actually even blame her for any of the stuff she said about like leaving everybody behind because it was seven just seven. her body seven receiving commands from somewhere else yeah. that wasn't her. From and the trans transmission station. Four, right one, the digital route will be five. 
7 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 is 14. The digital root of 14, 1 plus 4, is 5. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can I'd go love the, the jump door animation. Five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root going to be? Yeah, it perfectly captures in real life how I'm always jumping when I'm excited. I mean, I am. The normal thing that people do. Are you jumping when you're excited? Yeah. What would our digital root be? I, I guess I believe you. Should I pick the wrong answer? Um, because we picked four last time and that was correct, I believe. Oh, and it, oh, and it says two, three. I like, I'm gonna pick two or three, not five, just to be safe. Maybe we'll be spared if they think we're too stupid to be zero. Two, it'd be two. That means there's no way. <laughs> that Wait, hold on a second. Okay, he corrects Something's himself. Off. Eight plus three plus six plus five. <laughs> He's like, hold on, so, dummy. Here's how you do this. Hold on, you're dumb. I'm two, dumb. Two plus two <laughs> equals four. It's four. Uh, again, I'm role playing his head trauma. Fake choices. And the digital root is four. Damn. This game has fake choices. <laughs> it's fucked up. And we can go into door four. For a visual novel, that's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Oh, we're going to get to know both of them, huh? Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. <laughs> and our favorite, our bestie, Lotus. <laughs> Are these really the teams I want? I can't believe we're getting another Lotus. I forgot that this was actually the only one where we didn't get Lotus. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a Lotus 100% run. that thing again, but... Something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse. Well, we're not doing that. No, you already course, did that. If I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should yes. I stop them and insist on... It's funny that it even says right, that then. because there's no way to go through door five and bring June. What? That's what we're about, we're about to... Oh, no, yeah, you're it right. Seems we've yeah. reached a conclusion. He says that, that he would do that to stay with June, but then it doesn't actually even become an option. Huh. I'm going through door five. I don't remember how that ends up being um, shifted like that. We're over there, My, too, my memory okay? is that June just goes like, wait, but then we'll be separated. And I'm like, yeah, but I'll see you in five minutes or whatever. Huh. The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... Weird. Which door? I decided that four, four. would be fine. All okay. Door four, new stuff. Santa and June. New shit. New shit. There's nothing to worry about. I There's nothing to, to worry stay about. By her side. I yeah. This should be fine. <laughs> it's no problem this way. I should see the <laughs> other four off. Dude is so sweaty right now. Looks like Ace yeah. and the others are going. <sighs> Ace's eyes look really <laughs> weird there, right? It's also Seven's pose is very funny. No, yeah. Goodbye. Be careful. Wow. Very final. Yeah, I know. I mean, they don't know. They don't know that it's just like a... Wasn't it just like an executive suite in there or something? Or not executive suite, like a cabin? I don't remember. I wonder if the casino is 100% to hurry. Oh, no. I mean, like, the 100% run is playing all the different routes, right? Like, Sorry, no... I mean a zero death run is what I uh... mean. 100% of live, of living characters. Yeah, I don't know. It's fine. Hurry! I'm, it's, uh, it's so hard for me to imagine a version of this where Snake doesn't die because you, like, you weren't even around for it. It just, else. like, happened. The Snake stuff was weird, too, because, like, it didn't feel like it was a hundred percent i'm ever since they talked about how he had a fake arm like a prosthetic that he's his yeah thing could have been on i'm like i don't think that was him yeah i know it was so weird i i also still think but then they proceeded as if it was totally true and clover didn't seem to remember about his arm so yeah, yeah I, don't I don't know i assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds have you Sorry, have you? Snake. Have you? Someone should drag this guy off and kill him. I'm the old timey captain of this ship now. 
Do not let her near sharp objects. Okay, have fun. Oh, right. There was the ca hey, weird captain last time. There? Yeah, the fake dead, the fake dead zero. Yeah. Did you find anything? I see. I love the idea that like. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to skip that. How do I go um, back? Uh, isn't there a, like a history button? There was last time. There we go. Uh, okay, you just said at least say something, will oh. you? Okay. I love the idea that like. Oh wow! I guess Zero was just the crazy captain of this ship. <laughs> Mystery solved. Just like. <laughs> oh, it was Mr. What? Monopoly. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? There haven't been any kabooms yet. They have what, 40 seconds? Uh, 81, I think. 81? Because it adds up to oh, nine. Oh, because it adds up to nine. Yeah, now you're catching on. Hey, there it is. <laughs> That's got to be that dead thing. This <laughs> is something that I didn't appreciate for the first couple doors, mm -hmm. or maybe just the first door, what? that the dead we isn't necessarily just on the other side of the door. Yeah, no, it's like they have to like spot it and find it yeah. within a certain time limit. In one of the things they made, in the, when Snake dies is when they like, when they really um, make a big deal. Highlight that. that, yeah, make a big deal of needing to find the dead. Yeah. And I, that's when I was like, oh, I, it wasn't just right there. <laughs> I somehow had missed that. No, I mean, it's not 100% clear. Um, yeah. Especially because they never make you hey, have to find guys, it. Are you doing yeah, it's right also like there? the only concept that they don't explain 15 times. <laughs> yep, we're fine. You're not wrong. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the dead is just like the red, but the color is different. You know how the red was red? Yeah. Well, the you know how the red was red? Blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same too. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. That helps a I lot. I love that right after you said they don't explain it yeah. 15 times, we immediately It's so got funny. The only reason, the only reason they didn't explain it is because we saw it before they had a chance to. Yeah. God. I love I, I love branching paths in games because well, of this shit. We should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Dork. He saluted while he said that. You know he did. Yeah, he did. Ooh. Now it's our turn. I'll go first. Diva says uh okay. I we think ready? you're meant you're kind of meant to pick uh, four first. That's so weird. Who wouldn't want to examine the body? I know. I feel like it's like an obvious choice. It's so me. much cooler. Yeah. I sure. I think it would be good for the investigation. Yeah, you want to get let's to the bottom go. of the mystery, right? Yeah. <clears throat> right. All right. Let's go. God, what a fucking crew we're gonna have for this one. Run! Oh, damn. It's Bloop. counting down. Bloop. I do love the pink skull. We can't go back! We need to hurry and find the device. Hey! Where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap! Start looking! They should <laughs> stand here and keep talking about it instead of looking. Yeah, it'll I be fine. I am! Okay. people are idiots. <laughs> Don't this is how they all got axe murdered by rooms. a fourteen-year-old. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> she's she's a college student, right? I know she's funny or something. How many yeah. rooms do you think there are? Ah, oh, fuck! Whoa! F bomb. We don't have time to count. We just need to open them all. It it won't open. Shit! This one's no good. Same here. It's That's good. Opening. It's good if it won't open. Yeah, it oh, eliminates it. I mean, it's not in there. Yeah. There they don't know that. At the end of the hallway. No. Run! Hey, I know that it's a have? story. Yeah. <laughs> the blur. <laughs> Although at some point you're going to be like, technically this is not supposed to be solvable. Like, the trap is already set 
finding the dead is part of the trap. They're not gonna like be like, ha ha, we set up this whole thing with the red and the dead just to actually kill you because we trapped the dead behind a locked door. Yeah, it's like Jigsaw making a trap you can't escape from somehow. Like you right. can always escape from a trap that Jigsaw makes. The whole point is that you can escape. Yeah. That's why he's not a murderer. Exactly. Thank you so much. People get it wrong all the time. Avocado. He's never killed anyone in his life. Our time limit is 81 seconds. Don't talk to me about Detective Hoffman. He is the false Jigsaw. I know that. God damn it. See you, chat. I'm not. I'm not. T that man. That man's just a murderer. Hurry. The false Jigsaw. He has disciples who take over the mantle after Get he dies of here. cancer. Uh, it's very funny. Come on, everyone. That's how Jigsaw dies. Yeah. He's a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> no, they Billy don't is get the that. Billy is the puppet. Thank you. Oh wow. I actually I literally didn't know that. I thought the puppet's name was Jigsaw. Nobody knows that other than freaks like me. Why would you have a name like Jigsaw and then make the puppet's name Billy? Jigsaw's a much better name for a puppet. Well, because he's the Jigsaw killer. <sighs> well, we get everybody panting now as opposed to just everyone going, huh. <sighs> <sighs> uh, it looks like it stopped. <sighs> There's another door at the end of the hallway. Likely place for it to be. Let's try this one first. And of course, so many games would benefit from someone like not really involved in the development process, just like listening to the dialogue being performed and then having to go like, yes, this is good or no, this is insane. You can't really <laughs> stuff like this. <laughs> That's why it's important to read stuff out out loud when you write it, right? Yeah. Um, A keyhole. Although I do think that the weirdness of the... The writing and the deliveries are part of this game's charm. I agree. I think it wouldn't about. work if the delivery was more grounded. And I think it's grounded when it needs to be, but it is still... It is, yeah. It's very uneven is the is another way to put it. Um, We found the keyhole with the boy symbol. What's this mark? It, mail? <laughs> no, mail? not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Oh. Well, technically, like they are the same symbol. <laughs> but I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, th that's right. <laughs> that delivery was really funny to me. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, right. Chinglebutt says the original DS version didn't have voiceover, right? Yeah, that's right. I yeah, think, it did right? not have voice yeah. acting. Um, the sequels both had voice acting when they launched, though. So I think 3DS, they... both of those? Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know about Zero Time Dilemma because I played that on the PS Vita, I believe. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's on the 3DS, but I could be wrong. I know, yeah, I know Virtue's Last Vita. Reward is on Vita. Yeah. Uh, on, on 3DS. <laughs> Saturn. And Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man. Not symbol. that I would know. It's a symbol for Mars? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Symbol I think so. So you're telling me the symbol for Mars is a symbol for Mars? I, what doesn't make any freaking sense? I see. But we're on Earth. <laughs> Wait, where's Santa? What's the symbol for boat? Um, I'm trying to think of like a funny answer yeah, to that, but so I can just take a picture of a boat. <laughs> picture of a boat, yeah, just yeah. like a little boat, a little, like a little sailboat. sailboat. Yeah. Here's the deal. He's always picking None his ears. What a weirdo! Open. I mean, I don't like earwax either. Then that must yeah, but mean... do you like it on your fingers when people can see you putting it onto your fingers? No, I guess that's a good point. I tend to do that in the privacy of my own home. Yeah. We only have two more doors. I've been promised Maybe it's many the room more. Number. The door on the left has a B92, and the one on the right says B93. Yeah, you've got to be joking. Mm. All right, let's open I think should, they should I'll go about... B92. 40 spaces down, check out the rock lobster. <laughs> 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 
way better okay. than my shitty I'll give joke. Ninety three then. <laughs> One, two, three. I also hey. I don't know why I went rock I lobster it's... instead of love shack, knowing that it would be a room. Whatever. That could be called the Love Shack. I like I like the Rock Lobster. I think Rock Lobster is just a very funny idea. It's a good phrase. Like it, it good syllables to put together, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. It did. I uh I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> it was so easy. <laughs> Don't you want to be bemused in a murder trap? I I love the when this game just becomes two total morons being like, holy shit, what the fuck? It, what the fuck? A door opened. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Oh, it's time. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. What was that? It's funny how it's only some of the characters that are uh like uneven in their deliveries. Like Lotus is I think that that consistent. her voice acting is like super consistent. Yeah. You know, she does the thing that Lotus does and then you've got people like Santa and Junpei who are like all over the place depending on what's happening. Yeah, I do. I do enjoy that aspect of Junpei as a protagonist, where he becomes silly. Um, I, I, I'm, I want to see more Santa. Um, yeah, me too. Just to see how much of that that tone shifting is there, because he is always either pissy or stupid. <laughs> it's one yes. of the two. Or lucky, I think. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what was that line? I can't tell if you're either lucky or stupid. Right. <laughs> what was? I can't no, remember. No, it was lucky was. or stupid. Was it was, I'm pretty sure it was that. And it's like, well, they're not. They're just, those are not opposites. Okay. Oh. Oh. I see. I see something. It's escape time. It's escape time. Whoa. Top down. Yeah, they always give us a little top down shot. Oh. Okay, oh. I, need, I need to click this first. This is kind of a weird looking picture. It looks like a Dark Souls boss. Do you think it's an <laughs> Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? It kind of does. Yeah. The weird axe head, long spindly arms. Where's the the fog door? Sucking on a human being. Wait, hold up. Yep, she's zero. <laughs> Where the hell did yep. that come from? What's her brain made of? <laughs> Can't say I'd mind finding out a little more about what goes on in there. It's kind of weird looking picture. It's some sort of weird black and white design. Looks like there's a room on the right side of this picture. Okay. This room? Matches. It's a box of matches. There are matches inside, obviously. Oh yeah, how's your fever? You feeling better now? Oh. Yes, I'm fine. Right, I forgot about that. Because she fainted I'm earlier. Still forgetting about that. Well, wasn't that why she fainted, right? Or oh, on the stairs? Yeah. Or maybe I'm wrong. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. Are you worried about me? Oh no, we have to watch straight people flirt. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. I, I guess I am. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy? <laughs> how did you end up here? What do you mean? I same same way you, you earlier, did. Yeah, gassed and kidnapped. Yeah. Normal way. There was a man with a, a girl gas like you doing in a place like this. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D deck. And you ate it. Of all the Titanic sister ships Damn in all the world. <laughs> but is that really the truth? What? Jumpy, are you hiding something? Yo. No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. 
I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like that? She's got a point. Well, there's there's a brother and sister too. Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Yeah, that's a good point. And everyone else refused to reveal their own identities, which means that who knows how many other pairs there are that we just don't know about. That's a good point, especially because yeah. one of them's got no memory. Yes. Yeah. I always forget are Seven is something? amnesiac. I'm glad that this did turn into just them accusing each other instead of uh, me having to watch them be like, Haha, are you worried about me? I don't know. What would I hide? Well, me? I, I don't know. What? Anything. <laughs> I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? <laughs> oh you mean God. like... The number of men I've dated? What? What? <laughs> Do you want to know? What are we doing? What is it? How is a human writing this? How is it? How can you write these words without dying there on the page? Well, the, um, it's not his brain. It's being beamed in from It's being beamed in, yeah. Yeah, the brain is just the, the receiving the messages from somewhere else. Oh, my God. Don't worry. Only 18. Okay. Yeah. Wait, hey, what does 18 add up to? Digital root-wise. Nine. I'm just saying. Time zero. 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 Nine. Zero. Zero. I haven't met Mr. Right yet. She's dating zero. What lengths would she go to to meet Mr. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I see. <laughs> Good delivery again. Just, I want to remove the context of whatever else is happening. I uh, like, and just to like, you want to know how many men I've dated? It's 18 times zero oh. that's i yeah. can't think of like a faster way to make me think that someone is undateable <laughs> than to make th those that <laughs> series of words yeah that's a good point <laughs> i'm gonna try to freak this guy out by saying a number that i think he'll think is too high and then reveal <laughs> i've never dated <laughs> <laughs> it's four-dimensional chess She's one step ahead of everybody. Also, I didn't notice her like Princess Leia bun. Look at oh, that. Oh yeah, me neither. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Uh, I don't know. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. I, you know, the meet cute theory, the orchestrated meet cute mm -hmm. theory, got stronger Wonder. every day. Yeah. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Not really, but it's been a while since we played the beginning of this game. Yeah, yeah. I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. Oh, I de-deck and I eat it. Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> God damn it, I'm off my game. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. Oh. You got any ideas who it might be? <laughs> No. Jeffrey, nothing. that fucker who took my animal crackers. Jeff. Oh. Um, first name I could think of. Well, if it had something to do with school. Both their names start with a J. I think it's because of the giraffe from Toys R Us. Also, well, kind of the giraffe from Toys R Us. Lady? I think about that giraffe too much because I worked at a Toys R Us when they started getting rid of the giraffe. They got rid of the giraffe? I feel like, at least at my location, they phased out the giraffe. Wow. Yeah. Wait. Maybe the principal or the janitor or the lunch lady? No. What? I can barely remember any of them. Yeah, Addy Alomans in the chat says, Sylvie personally shot the giraffe, and I did. Um, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Eh, it was I one, one, on one, one of my me. many savannah trips uh, that I'm known for taking. <laughs> Okay. Well, all that conversation did was make us more suspicious of you, June. So well done. By a million times. Like yeah. A hundred, yeah. Like not. Oh, two. The two numbers: digital root of nine and then zero. Yeah. Like, uh, 
uh, clearly, you know, cannot help herself, sort of <laughs> serial killer obsessed with I'm, these two numbers. I've watched a lot of Scream movies. This is the type of shit they pull. I'm just saying. Murderers love being cute about it. I've never seen any Scream movies, oh, but I have favorite. seen Scooby-Doo. You, uh, you know what? Then you've seen Scream. <laughs> yeah. To it's the point that Shaggy's in <laughs> Yeah. That's what I was, that's, that's the connection is that I think that that's... Matthew Lillard. I think, Shaggy, I think that Matthew Lillard is playing the same character in both movies. A little bit. No, oh, I mean like literally the Oh, same like literally guy. like that's, oh, wow. That's fucked up. Yeah, double uh, life. Very confusing for the Scooby-Doo chronology. Mm-hmm. Wait, we she's... had a couple giveaways happen that I didn't. By the yeah, notice, thank you yeah. so much, everybody. Yeah, that's really. We had fun. a couple shirts, some stickers. Also, June's talking about stealing an expensive vase, so I'm I'm enjoying her more again. <laughs> it's her vase. She's just pretending to not own it. Fuck, damn. You're right. Okay, there's a room to the right. How do I get there? Oh, that is not intuitive. No. What is going on in here? I think it's a shower. There's a little blue platform protruding from the shower. Okay, it's for putting soap on. I used a shower once, so I know. And I was like, I used a shower once, but the line break there made it feel like I used a shower <laughs> once. <clears throat> no water in the shower. It's because it's all being used to flood the, the fake ship. Uh. Cover okay, is there anything here? Geometric shapes on them. Okay. No, there's this. Uh, this is nothing. Oh, toilet. Now let's check the toilet. There's nothing there. Tank's mm, empty too. Two, two different amounts of toilet paper on those two rolls. Oh. That's something. It's got to be a clue. I'll click it once I get the chance. is not even any water. Toilet paper. Oh hey, a collection of full and partially depleted to rolls of toilet paper. Someone Thank was you. well prepared. There's nothing too suspicious about it. Oh wait, I should. Shower curtains, huh? Let's try closing it. I don't necessarily trust June on what isn't suspicious. That's a good point. That's a good point. Now I can see the full expanse of the shower curtain in all its waterproof glory. There's nothing. Suspicious. It's just a normal old shower curtain. Oh, it was like there's it's there's nothing suspicious. She was finishing a sentence. Okay. A narrow shower. And I'm standing in it with June. Oh no. This is awkward. Time to open the curtain. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it was gonna go. Uh, yeah, why don't we go back to the living room? It's not awkward to be in a shower it's full not. of clothes with no intention of using the shower. It's really not. But then Junpei is just like, oh, I'm gonna get real weird about this right now. Oh, uh, Jumpy, what are you doing? We don't have time to be relaxing on a sofa. Okay. But we had time to argue for two hours. Yeah, you know. Well, that's why we don't have time for the sofa. Right, sure. We might have been able to relax a little bit. Bottle with water. I'm in a bedroom with June. <laughs> you, you know, dude, you know that's about to happen. <laughs> you probably have this water here because it your throat always feels dry when you wake up, you know? My throat's dry, but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now because he's in a bedroom alone with June. Well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, do you want to take a shower together? <laughs> Whoa. Just kidding. Too late to That's take so it quirky. back. That's so quirky. That's creepy to say that. <clears throat> yeah, that is quirky. And then Junpei, I don't like... My brain's already working out the picture. Stop it. I'm hitting him with a rolled up newspaper. My throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. Uh... Bottle with some water in it. I doubt it'll be that useful. I bet you're wrong. A wooden cupboard. There are cups inside, surprising no one. All right. I was hoping for like anything usable. This isn't a painting. Is it a map? Oh, a map of the ship. It's like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find. I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. It's funny that in, in pretty much any other room, we would be mostly uh, narrating this stuff to ourselves, but in this one we've got June telling us what everything is. It's, yeah. I, it's an interesting... 
Inter- I don't know if it's an inversion necessarily, but it is an interesting change of pace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Nine? Nine. Plus the digital root digital of 900. Root nine. nine plus zero plus zero. That's nine. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style. It doesn't choice, look like a cruise ship. Much. I think that wasn't invented until after retro stuff was. Do you remember what Zero said? <laughs> right, they don't know that they're on the gigantic. No, they don't. Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? I, I think that's far-fetched. Hmm, that's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. I think it'd be really funny if he'd mentioned it for no reason, though. Yeah. Two hours and how many minutes? Hmm. Um, Two hours and 40 minutes. Okay. Are you trying to digital root that? Yeah. It's oh. one, I think. Isn't wait, two hours sixty minutes oh. plus forty minutes is a hundred minutes. You're right. Okay, wait, isn't it two hours and forty minutes? Oh yeah, two hours and forty minutes. So one hundred and twenty oh. plus forty is one hundred. And... Yeah, be seven. We're smart. Yeah. Do you think this boat is haunted? I'm gonna. What should I say here? Actual Titanic. Well, because we... we know it's not. We know it's not, and also I think that we would know that even if we didn't know what it was. Yeah. <laughs> because we know where the actual Titanic is. <clears throat> I guess my answer is, how smart do you want Jinpei to be? <laughs> I, w- I, I would like to not think that we are in the real Titanic, because that's too dumb. Okay. Oh, that's a, that is a character, a character trope that I like to call, I complain about this to Isaac all the time, too dumb to live. Ah, yes. Okay. I I understand. It would be a bit too... A, a, a bridge too far to make him that stupid. A replica? Yeah. Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? You. You. Fans. <laughs> Crazy Titanic fans. <laughs> <laughs> really good line. <laughs> they ain't worth it. Crazy Titanic fans. No way. Yeah, you're Do you right. Do even know how much money that would take? No oh, idea. Like probably like 500 whole dollars. <laughs> <laughs> like at least. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? How do you break, break even? even how? <laughs> By renting it out to murderers? Yeah. Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. <laughs> oh, my God. Climb aboard a piece of history. Sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. <laughs> Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. Are you sure, man? Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? Thank you. It's the Yes, I actually do think that. That's a good point. If <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I agree. If okay. <laughs> I'm just if someone was like, hey, go on a flight of the plane that hit the towers. Oh my god. People would do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <sighs> Over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> a curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know curses and stuff let's fucking go okay character i now this i feel like there's no way that we believe in curses no they're a load of crap think that's a load of crap a load of freaking crap right there that's a load of freaking crap right there sorry but i, I can't really say i believe in that kind of stuff uh what about you no nah, i i guess that's kind of a dumb question hmm. yes i do believe in curses i love her I'm back in on fact, board. I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. Let's go! What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jubei on the same page! Yeah. A curse sank the Titanic. I'm, st- I'm so ready. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. <laughs> no. No way. <laughs> the? <coughs> 
The Egyptian mummy? The Egyptian mummy. Supposedly, Remember when Egypt the Titanic did that? carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I forgot the way this game is paced. Huh, you ready to learn about the priestess Amun-Ra? I guess I am. <laughs> Which was stolen from a pyramid. D yeah. Yeah. And they that part was granted, the I think. mummy had a history. <laughs> Most of them do. Most of them do, yeah. Everyone That's part of it. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. In the thousands of years of history since the priestess Amun-Ra, not one person is alive. <laughs> Those who open the Sure, most of them died of old age. Cursed. Uh, Her you delivery heard there was word? really good. Cursed. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Um That oh, I'm so I'm so glad we're getting getting this right off the bat. <laughs> Gold Boy says, How hasn't she dated 18 many boys? <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to see. Oh, I no, are you kidding? This is like I, if a girl started info dumping to me about this type of thing, I'd be like, "Do you want to get married?" <laughs> what? So you're saying? Oh, yeah, we didn't hear how many girls she dated, just how many boys. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> That's stupid. I don't buy it. Apparently, this mummy thing is a real conspiracy people have. It's true. How can you be so sure? That mummy wasn't just a normal mummy. Oh, okay. It was really mysterious. Totally <laughs> It was an extra mysterious mummy. It was like really spooky. What is so unbelievable about it? Well, supposedly she was really pretty. Okay, I think June is for the girlies. Pretty? Yes. Yeah, the pretty mummy that kills everybody. <laughs> but she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax. Yeah. <laughs> the fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And. Yes, saponification. <laughs> That's not what it was. Well, yeah, duh, saponification. Yeah, but saponification. It, it wasn't what it does. June knows all the talking points. I, yeah, the, yeah. Isn't saponification when something turns into soap, not I into think it's, wax? It might be. I don't know. I actually don't know. Because I, I know that there's probably chemical similarities in some shit. Saponification is a process of cleaving esters into carboxylate salts and alcohols by the action of uh, aqueous alkali. Typically, aqueous sodium hydroxide solutions are used. It is an important type of alkaline hydrolysis. When the carboxylate is a long chain, it's a salt. Uh, its salt is called a soap. Saponification of ethyl acetate gives sodium acet acetate and ethanol. Huh. That's fucking science is. I I believe a, a great man once said, "Science rules." Um. <laughs> <laughs> great man once said, "Science rules." Science rules. Science rules. You you were a Bill Nye. Boo boo boo. boo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Bill I was Bill like, Nye. come on, we're close enough in age to be both. Bill yeah. Nye Bill Nye. Children. Bill Nye was maybe. I would say. I would say. You know, before I was old enough to have a celebrity hero, Bill Nye was my celebrity hero. That sounds, yeah, nah, that dude ruled. Um, that show was so fucking funny. That show, it was like real comedy too. Is the thing about you're Bill not Nye. wrong. Listen, yeah. that motherfucker made learning fun. That's why his his you know his remake show on Netflix sucked because it wasn't funny and weird and a thousand miles an hour. Yeah, it wasn't. It, it was just like wacky. nice older man does science, basic Which science. Is great, but I'm an adult now, and I don't need yeah. shows that I don't need shows that are trying to be Sesame Street. Yeah, for I me. need like I need like the psycho version of Bill Nye, even. 
Yeah. That's what I need. Get him working with like the absolutely production team or something. And by the way, I fucking nailed all these science words that I read on this upon vacation with Wikipedia. You page. did. Sorry. I didn't I didn't give you enough credit. You nailed Thank it. You. You're yeah, fantastic you. delivery, um, saponification uh, master. Huh? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this moving because I'm curious about what, yeah. what what's going on here. That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. <laughs> frozen in in frozen. ice. What? What? That is <laughs> such a like. I'm trying to humor you. Yeah. What? Oh, that's crazy. It's like they kept. It's like they kept this guy in a box and like refused to tell him what the plot of the story was, <laughs> and like gave him all the lines totally out of order. <laughs> that. Oh my god. I would love to genuinely know what order things were recorded in. Yeah. That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than sixty percent water. Yeah, mm -hmm. Well, all of that water was frozen. Okay. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic, even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. You're crazy. Wow, that's, that, wow, that's crazy. I'm not interested anymore. Let's go check out the shower. I won't be weird this I time. I won't be weird anymore. It, it's completely, it's fine. I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? <laughs> yep. I didn't know? Maybe it's Wait, sorry. Sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Well, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Where does the ice come from? Yeah. Can we, can we read this a little bit? Yeah, let's read uh, this. I'm, I'm, okay. Yeah. I got stuck looking at the wrong thing. By mistake. She wasn't no, all shriveled up her rod or anything. She looked almost alive. And then when he's like, oh, your, your body turns into some kind of wax. The okay, fat, yes, yeah, the modification. Like, wasn't it? It wasn't wax. What was it? They say that she was frozen. What? Frozen? What? Frozen. What? What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, we didn't miss anything. <laughs> yeah, we didn't miss anything. I think so, too. But maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. So at least she thinks it's so, crazy. So this whole thing hinges on her being like, yeah, I heard that her body was frozen. How? I don't know. And that also it never melted. How? I don't know. Don't let her on TikTok. Is all I'm don't, gonna say. She will yeah, have so many things programmed into her immediately. Right, and also somehow have two million followers. Oh, oh, oh my God! She will also be doing many, many of these conspiracy theory programmings herself. Yeah. Um, and maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Is crazy, by the way. Yeah. I've huh, never been more that, convinced that, that someone. To be true. <laughs> you never been more convinced <laughs> that someone is a murderer. <laughs> Just because she's like, they're, they're, listen, this mummy. The, it, well, it's that, and then also the brain eating thing. Yeah. She does not seem to be living in a, a reality that I am living in. We are in two different realities. <laughs> and I think that in her reality, you can kill a bunch of people to orchestrate a meet cute. Yeah. But in real life, it just doesn't work like that. No, it always breaks bad. You know, it seems like it's not gonna. It just last minute it always takes a turn. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting hung up about some of my exes now. <laughs> but maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. What? Oh, oh, because it's silly. Um. What? Well, yeah, um... I don't want to know what she thinks about... I like that Junpei is fully off-put by this. Yeah, I enjoy that, too. he doesn't know how to respond. and Because I'm like, I also don't know how to respond. It's a lot better than just being like, uh-huh, uh-huh, tell me more. I like that yeah. it's... It's... Wh what? What? <laughs> yeah. Ice that doesn't melt, even in the desert? Does, does something like that really exist? No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? 
It's very responsible that he's checking in on himself. Yeah. He's got to go into his mind palace real quick. Yeah. Let me just think. Let me talk to the smarter me that lives inside. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, plot of Mr. Robot. Um... (laughs) It's a light blue blanket with some designs on it. Someone's made the bed, or at least never unmade it. There's only bed sheets under the blanket. Nothing exciting. What about under the pillows? There's two pillows right next to each other. Guess it's a double. What the fuck? Why are you blushing? Sorry. He said, huh, what's up? You're turning red. I took some creative license. Yeah. Is her fever back? Hey, are you all right? Do you need to lay down for a minute? I'm fine. I think it's still a little early for that. Okay. Hey, seriously. Sorry, you... I can't think. I can't look at a bed without thinking about um, sex with you. Oh my god! Did I say that out loud? Uh... <coughs> um. No, I didn't mean to. What the fuck? I didn't mean to click that. And now she's talking about how she tosses and turns when she sleeps. Wait, so what did, which one? What did you click? I clicked the bed frame by accident. She's like, oh, a bed frame. So oh, I won't okay. fall out in it. And then she said, I toss and turn when I sleep. And she's blushing again. What the hell is she thinking about? Junpei's stupid also. Junpei's dumb as fuck. Um, oh. A dresser key. A key. Do you think it's the key to the dresser? Probably. That's what it's called in the inventory. This is a mirror for the dresser. And that Maybe playing... we can save everybody if we just, like, seal the deal here. <laughs> <laughs> Junpei, just take one for the team. <laughs> yeah. It's not like there's anyone here you need to impress, I wonder, huh? Yes, there is. Who? Seven, obviously. Yeah. What? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Lotus is in the other room, dude. Why do you think? Um. I like this music a lot. I mean, it's a light. Okay, I thought it was something. Like that, like noise that's like a kind of doing like a snare almost oh yeah or like I guess it's more used like a symbol but anyway that's, cl- that's a classic that's a Game Boy classic oh Game Boy had a noise channel it has, yeah. three, has three uh three tonal channels and a noise channel that it uses for a bunch of like percussive stuff. I had a chip tune era. I know about these things. I I've, I've used the um LSDJ. Yes, LSDJ. It was LSDJ. I was like, uh, was LSDJ for the GBA or was that the Game Boy or was that the DS yeah. one? But no, LSDJ was the GBA one. Thinking of going over to Lotus's room. Why? What do you mean why? I'm just gonna go check up on them. Is there something wrong with that? Well, no. Come back soon. Sure thing. I'll leave the rest to you. Sure. Leave it to me. All right. By the way, when you were room. done, I solved the puzzle in one second because I set up the puzzle. <laughs> if that was the answer to this, that'd be so fucking funny. Oh, hey. It's the tile with a black and white pattern on it, but it's it's the painting is missing. There's a square tile in this frame. It's glued in there quite well. I don't think you can take it out. Oh, I'm trying to... Oh, that's not... Oh. There we go. Um, we're not locked. It's Lentil Sweet in the chat asks, oh, we're not locked in here. We're locked in the like hallway that these rooms are on either side of. Um, if I'm remembering the sort of layout. Yeah, it is a correctly. locked space. It's just a slightly bigger locked space. Yeah. Okay, well, the room in the back is dark. Aren't there any lights? Huh? This is a light switch, right? I could use some light. Shoot, no dice. I think I saw a candle out there that I'm going to use the matches on i really don't i don't really give a crap about why it doesn't work it doesn't work and we can't do shit about it i'm glad that santa speaks like junpei they are maybe the two most similar characters yeah i think they're meant for each other way too dark in here we're gonna need some light oh can i still use this we just have a thing for characters with uh, forearm sleeves. 
<laughs> He's got a type. Yeah. A plate. Okay, so I know where that goes. Junpei is warm arm sexual. <laughs> warm forearms only. Warm forearm sexual, right. A candle with a candlestick. This might come in handy. Oh, I have to combine it with the match. I know, if I use the match to light the candle. Lit candle. The lighting the candle, maybe we can take a look around over here. But it gets so hot when I hold it. I want to put it down. Why don't you set it on top of the dresser? It's flat there. At least it won't fall over. Oh, yeah. Good oh, hold the candle. What to do? Oh. It's hurting. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow, Lotus, help me. How do I make it not hurt? Ow, why is it? Why hurt? Why hurt? <laughs> What the hell? The fire hurt. He, he, he is a caveman. <laughs> curtain. A shower um, curtain, huh? Feels like it's it doesn't look like a normal curtain. Yeah, I guess like a. Oh, okay, sure. A shower. Got it. Yeah. It's not a normal curtain. It's a shower. It's curtain. a shower curtain. Okay. Anything under the blanket? Nope. Anything under the pillows? Two pillows in a pile. Oh. A pile of pillows. Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Hey, calm down. A pile of pillows. What? Pile of pillows. She's crazy. She I love her. <laughs> the picture. The picture of the girl in the fucking frozen food aisle. Yeah. She's so crazy. The pillow on her head. <laughs> yeah. Can't take her anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, pile of pillows. <laughs> I mean, she, you know. <laughs> uh, go to friends of the table cash, support the show. Yeah, please do. Hey, can you hit the button? Oh, yeah. Friends, 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 friends of the table dot cash. Let's go. Oh, Junpei, hold on. Friends of the table dot cash. Oh my god. Oh, there's something going on with the candlestick. Look at the candlestick. Something's going on here. There's a candlestick covered in melted wax on top of the dresser. Hey. How did this happen? What, what the heck? This? What the heck? The top of the candlestick looks kind of weird. This a full candle. Where'd all the wax go? You're right. It's all bumpy. Candlestick key. Oh, candlestick key. The part of the candlestick where the candle goes looks like a key. A key, huh? I think I ran into a lock I couldn't open earlier. Did we? I don't remember. Oh, I act oh fuck. Did I accidentally? O okay. I almost clicked. I clicked. So I have this just this game in windowed mode, and so I accidentally clicked on another game icon for a second, but I was really scared yeah. it was going to open different visual novel. That would be very funny. Although it's pro you're probably capturing the I'm, game. I am. Right? Yeah, oh, but it's just all of a sudden if the audio from Paranorma site started playing. <laughs> be very stressed. A game I haven't finished. Nobody spoil anything. This is a display case. Check it out. These plates and shit look really expensive. Is that the sequel to is that the, sequel to the, the uh the uh, movie Paranorman? Movie, movie Paranorman. No. Twenty twelve. I I don't I didn't play enough to find out, I guess, is what I'll say. I don't know how okay. many similarities there are. I don't know if there's gonna be a funny gay reveal at the end of it. The way there was. Is there in a gay reveal? The end of Paranorman? Yeah, yeah. The reveal that oh like the God. like football guy that the big sister has been like hanging out with all night and like flirting with does like has a boyfriend is like one of the I... last gags of that movie. So I never saw Paranorman because I saw Frankenweenie instead. Oh no! I would I would go for Paranorman over a Tim Burton film. Have you seen Frank and Weenie? I have not, but that's because I kind of, I divested from the Burton universe. Uh, In 2012? That's early. Okay. Uh, yeah, but you, did you, <laughs> I had to go see Alice in Wonderland in theaters. Um, and that uh, kind of well, ruined it for me. Yeah, that sucked ass, obviously. No, Frank and Weenie's good. Frank and Weenie's okay. good. Um, you know, say whatever you want about Tim Burton. I don't care. I have nothing, I have no investment in Tim Burton. I used to but. be hugely into his shit. Shocking nobody. What came out first, Paranorman or uh, Coraline? 
Uh, Coraline for sure. Coraline was. Yeah, Coraline. Uh, Coraline definitely. Yeah, I remember seeing Coraline like pretty early. I saw it in theaters with 3D glasses and shit. It was cool. That's not even. That's not even. Uh, Tim Burton, I don't think. No, that's just, um. That's just Henry was thinking Fowler. of other other stop motion stuff that I saw yeah. around the same time. It is yeah, the Henry same director Fowler, as yeah. Paranorman, I believe, or at least the same studio. Uh, Gauntlet Conundrum. Paranorman is Sam Fell and Chris Butler. Oh, okay. Um, must just also be a Leica film. Uh, Gauntlet Conundrum in the chat asks, uh, how much knowledge are y'all going in with? Not going to spoil, of course. Just curious if you know the whole deal or not. I know a little bit. Keith knows nothing. And just yeah. as a general rule, please, guys, don't even try and be cheeky with spoilers. Just, like, don't even... Don't even be like, oh, they don't know. It's like, don't... don't just, just, just enjoy us being flabbergasted. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, Sylvie. I, I uh, was looking at Wikipedia, so I missed exactly what you said. But no worries. You have, you've played this one time. You played through one run. I played forever ago. one run of this forever ago. Um, right. But you played like, the other games. I played the other two. Yeah. Because okay. I, I had a major. I, like, I know the some major shit about the end of this, you know? Um, how much. Uh, how much. Like, if someone were to go into those other two games, either one. How much would they be spoiled from this game? Eventually, the the sequel does. I believe Virtue's Last Reward does kind of spoil this game at the, mm -hmm. towards the end of it. But I I played a good chunk of it without knowing the broad strokes of nine nine nine, other than the one route I played and being like, mm -hmm. oh okay, I, I kind of get it. Um, it. I think it holds up on its own. It's it's a it's a cool game. I'm excited to get to it. Um, it might it might be my favorite of the three. The second one? Yeah. I th oh. I, I think about it a lot. The tile. I think I've seen it somewhere. Yeah, I know. Tile. Hmm. What is that? We're seeing a black and white tile. We're seeing a black and white tile. Oh, I mean, it's I... slightly familiar. There's 12 things in these rooms. Hmm. And this might be one of them. Let's see if this candlestick key will do anything. Hey, what happened with the... I, I, I saw that this happened, but I, I couldn't... I didn't notice like why it was like this. We saw the. Did they have a separate black and white painting that yeah. we did, or did the painting change? No. So they have a. They have like a separate, but like in the same place in the room painting. Yeah. Except it's like That's in just a part of a Misfits okay. album cover. You got a minute? <laughs> Here, take this. What are you giving me, man? A bookmark. What? What is this for? Uh, do you want me to read a book? <laughs> <laughs> It's just what <laughs> it's like you're talking to your dog. Like, what do you want, buddy? You want, you want me to read a book? You want me to read a book? What is this for? Why'd you give me this? I found is this how you ask for people to read you a book? A give them a bookmark. <laughs> it's also just like. I don't know. It just feels like talking to people about like uh, media consumption. <laughs> Being like, "What? You want me to read a book? You want me to read a book?" <laughs> Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. I mean, it's important enough to be voice acted, so. Then why don't you remind me? Is this it? a clue or is this for you? Want me to read you a book? <laughs> We're in the clue room. You want me to stop doing you want me to clues? Stop doing clues. Read you, and read you a book. <laughs> oh, it's a clue. You know what I hate most in the world? Oh my god. <laughs> Please don't. St I have a couple <laughs> bad guesses. Santa before saying a homophobic slur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got four things. Oh, okay. Wait. Um. Finals week. Final. Yeah. Uh. Cold forearms. People um, who can't speak people Japanese. People who don't speak Japanese, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and girls. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hope, faith, okay. love, and luck. <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm twisted. Welcome to my twisted, twisted. mind. What am I twisted? <laughs> Hope, faith, love, and luck. Damn yep, you straight. got it. Damn straight. Damn straight. And you hate these things <laughs> yeah you got a problem with that <laughs> you got a problem with that keith he sounds like you doing a bit like he sounds like your voice when you're trying to be like a tough guy who's saying silly shit because <laughs> i would love to kick your ass no i would fuck i would <laughs> want to 
I hope that you brought. Fuck. Wait, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, stupid. Uh, not really, but what does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Well, see, each Look, leaf, four leaf clover, four leaf clover yeah, there we go. has uh, meaning okay. to it, okay? And that meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. <laughs> Okay, now we're this back to the like homophobia. This is learned on a TikTok. Yeah, no, that is what Apparently everybody the four in this leaves game feels of a like. clover. I mean, you know that the four leaves of a clover each have their own meaning. This leaf stands for hope. Eight hundred thousand likes. <laughs> you... Number one, the story of the mummy who never unfroze. <laughs> Talking about yeah, that is the monster. other that is the yeah. other video on uh, June's TikTok. Yeah. Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So leaf language, I guess. Yeah, you could call them leaf words. <laughs> leaf words. That's a genius. I freaking hate leaf words. Leaf words. Leaf words. Hope, faith, love, and luck. The meaning of the leaves on a four-leaf clover. That what you're talking. So, yeah, I want you to take it, okay? Just touch and it gives me the creeps. <laughs> take the damn thing, all right? <gasps> what? This guy's a fucking poser. I, 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 yeah. Here. Just. Oh, why do I, I get a choice Even here? Thinking about good stuff makes me feel fucking sick to <laughs> my stomach. I'm so twisted <laughs> that the Joker is just the normal guy to me. The only stuff I like is scary stuff. All right. And sure. I'll take uh, it. <laughs> um, mean stuff. stuff. And, <laughs> and like slime and shit. Ghosts. I love sandpaper. Uh, <laughs> sli I mentioned slime. Huge slime guy. Nickelodeon was my shit. <laughs> Oh, man, I feel a lot better now. That thing was a real pain, you know? Between the, like, between the do any of you chumps speak Japanese and this bit, he really does feel like the worst member of an anime club. Yeah. Do you really hate those yeah. four words that much? No, he's pretending. Yeah, well, they can all... <laughs> he's pretending to seem cool in front of you for some reason. He's flirting. Hope. Faith, this is just love. how the most annoying guy in the world Death. flirts. Hope, faith, love. Well, that's not my only reason. What? Why don't, yeah, tell us more. Give us your backstory. That's not the only reason I hate the four leaf clover. I just four leaf clover killed my mom. I myself to like the number four. Oh. Well, that's good because she, she's going to kill us. What? Worried about the four horsemen? Yo. Didn't we go into door four? Didn't you specifically yeah, wait, we did. you don't want to go into door wait five? Wait a minute. <laughs> he specifically said, I don't want to go into door five. Put me into door four right away. But you don't like the number. F Santa, this is unraveling at a rapid pace. Nah, come on, man. That's just silly. Maybe back in the dark ages, that kind of crap scared people. But this is the 21st century. And I'm a 21st century guy. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell from the tattered mummy. Yeah. <laughs> the, the scarf that he's wearing. Oh my god. Again, feels like the most awkward, like trying to figure out if someone's bisexual. It's like, I'm a 21st century guy. I'm a little insulted. <laughs> I'm a little twisted. Then why do you hate four so much? Because it's a half ass number. What? What? Not the best. It just comes worst. between three and five. Yeah, I'm so confused. You, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I don't like it in door five, four. I want to go to back to the door five, please. There's been a lot of, I feel like uh, Junpei really uh, getting a lot of points with me this episode just for his what? <laughs> we're in a, yeah, we're in a room stuck with Lotus, Santa, and June, the three characters who have said the most insane shit. Yeah. And Lotus has been the most normal so far. She was just a yeah. little wacky earlier. Yeah. 
She pile of pillows. Pile of pillows. Pile of pillows. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, uh -huh. Honestly, maybe the most confusing thing so I, far is that. It, it, Even though so the, definitely the least edgelord, definitely the least off-putting, but I am still very confused by it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Like, what did she mean? <laughs> also, <laughs> hey, nine is a way better number? Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm just... So what if it's last place, right? Because is it last place? Last I guess in the... Last place? If we're going just on the base nine integers, you know? What are yeah, you... Yeah, it's the last one before ten, but it's like... La it's not, that doesn't make it last place. You... Unless you... I just imagined a scenario where there's nine people, and if everyone comes into place that they're not, their thing is in the order of the numbers, then ninth is last place. What? You're making my head hurt now on top of him. You play? What? You play? Santa's explanation made no sense. Junpo, Junpei was even more confused than, than before. And then he asks, you play? Play. You play? 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 Oh, which do we ask here? Oh, definitely. I mean, he definitely means gambling, right? Nine has yeah. something to do with the stock market. Well, that's really you gambling. mean like gambling? Uh, yeah, of course. What else would I need? The stock market. Stock market. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, the best possible hand totals nine. They call it Legrand. Wait. So wait. then, why did he say nine is last? I. Nine yeah. is always last, like in Baccarat, where nine is the best. This man's not an intellectual. And also, it wasn't Baccarat like a key part of a puzzle earlier in our last Later. round? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, la later chronologically, down. sorry. Right. Earlier in our playthrough. But the lowest, most worthless cards, zeros. They call monkey. Okay. Just like the guy in charge of this game, huh? <laughs> Zero's a monkey. D I don't think you can say that. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow, we got it with that. Totally we fucking right. got it with that. Ooh, he's. Oh my god. Hey, man, do you want to come hang out in the shower? There sure is one hell of a monkey. You know, if you think about it, the Nonary game is really a lot like Baccarat. Is it? Yeah, it is. It no, I've been thinking that. Digital root chuck. You just drop the tens digit and that's it. Still, it does have the same idea of your final number needing to be a single digit. Oh, yeah, I guess you got a point. And in both games, whoever has nine wins. Okay. The person who makes nine wins yeah star cat in the chat points out she's just been sitting there listening the whole time to that conversation yeah i hate hope she's had to hear him talk about hope love uh faith and luck so much today like when we were uh, off having Did our you forget already terrible don't you remember what zero said uh forced sexual tension with june that's all he was talking about he picked up the bookmark and kept going ugh, and she kept being like what is wrong with ugh. you I'm being I'm being made physically weak having to look at this thing. <laughs> it's literally sucking the energy it's, out of me. It's my kryptonite, dude. <laughs> I don't know why I said dude like Hulk Hogan at the end of that. It is hidden, hidden but an, an exit, exit can, can be found. found. Seek, Seek a way, a way out. out. Seek, Seek a door, a door that, that carries, carries a nine. nine. So, if we want to get off this boat, we have to make a team whose numbers have the digital root of nine. Oh, is this where you're uh, yeah. That team are going to make it out alive. Sorry, what? Is this the first time that they're thinking of that? It might be, is the thing. Because I feel like this came up after we went through our first room when Lotus, like, asked Junpei and June about it. Do you remember that conversation? I think that was even later. That was like after the third door. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, that was like right before Snake was murdered. Yeah. Or something. It is definitely one of those things where it's like the jumping between to like timelines. Jumpy between. Jumpy between timelines. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hmm. Makes you think. Yeah. Um, kind of He's messes jumpy. up the chron. <laughs> kind of messes up the chronology of like where we think yeah. people said stuff. Yeah. <laughs> of course. That's why it's called the nonary game. What? Huh? <laughs> nonary means none. Know? Nonary means something derived from nine or base nine. 
It's derived from the Latin prefix nona, which means nine. Which means grandma. While we're at it, the prefix for one is uni. You know, like the unicorn, the horse with one horn. To his body. Sorry, the what? Body. I've fucking never heard of that. <laughs> you know what? You know what? <laughs> oh, like the bomber. <laughs> uh, two is by, like by. Unicorn means one corn. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she goes through all nine of these. Binary means composed of two parts. Okay. Three is try. I'm sure you've heard that one plenty. Like trio, triple, and triangle. You get the idea. This is the most talk to me like I'm five game of all time. Yeah. After that, you have quart, quinty, sext, septum, and so on. And Don't so let June hear you say sex. Hold on. Hold on. You counted all the way up to seven and then didn't do eight. <laughs> After, Bizarre. like, you, like, I don't know. And of course the prefix for eight is off. Okay, there we go. Off. Okay, there we go. So you said and so on and then just did the last one anyway? Yeah. Okay, cool. It's called Listen, that. we know that she tends to go on. My brain was loading in its programming. <laughs> the Wi-Fi is bad in here. Sorry, I'm not connected to my Plex server. I see. So then Nona means nine. Yes. So how many of us are trapped grandma. in this ship? One, Again. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, grandma. <laughs> I was going to say that this, has, again, is the Dora the Explorer section of the game. Yeah. Where it's like, how, how many of us are trapped on this ship? Nine. <laughs> That'd be nine. Nine hours, nine persons, nine Doras. And what are the bracelet numbers we have? They go from one to nine. <laughs> and our time limit? You got it! Wait, so if this, um, new theory, just from the way she's talking, if this had to, to tie with June and uh, Junpei's schooling together, she was their kindergarten teacher, because teacher, that's how she's talking to them now. <laughs> Zero um, said nine hours. But, and, but clearly, June, Junpei and Sanda both need this. Oh, absolutely. Like, hey, isn't it weird? Have you noticed that um, this whole thing's like about numbers and like nine? <laughs> I don't know if anybody's put this together yet. It's just kind of like, maybe it's like a kind of weird coincidence or something. Hey, stop me if this is nothing. <laughs> and finally, to get out of this ship. We need to find the door with a nine that's hidden somewhere in the ship by making a team with the digital root of nine. And there you have it. The number nine is everywhere in this game. Ah, uh, yeah, people in the chat pointing out that... Uh, these explanations might be more beneficial for a Japanese-speaking audience, uh, which I, uh, yeah, probably. But it's really Maybe, funny for this us. Is, this is localized, right? So we don't actually know what they're explaining in those. Games. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm assuming it's it's mostly similar, just because, like, with this type of game, you can't really take that much license with the script. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. He's got a real theme of nines for this. The number nine thing. is everywhere in this game. He's got a real game. theme of nines. No wonder it's called the Nonary Game. No, yeah, no, that would make sense. Uh, okay. I thought there was going to be more after the creaking. Can I go in the bathroom? Yeah. This is the bathroom wall. The whole wall is covered in these square tiles. But... Oh, wait, I need to... I Sorry, I need to equip the curtain. <clears throat> There's a curtain rod running along the ceiling. Got it. Let's try spreading the curtain. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, that's a pretty obvious peephole. Somebody's really dedicated. Well, with a hole this big, you gotta wonder if maybe they wanted to be caught. So you're saying maybe the oh one getting spied God. on was into that shit? Maybe they oh were into like God. those home invasion fantasies. Guys, what are we doing? What? D hey, can we stop to consider that maybe it's just a hole and that if someone was really dedicated to peeping, they would make the hole smaller, not bigger. I can't. Fucking Gunpei over here immediately going like, oh, maybe they're into these weird fantasies. Interesting. I see. I hope this doesn't awaken anything for me. You two are real idiots, you know that? Thank you, Lotus. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, let's try spreading the curtain. Yeah. Okay. Lotus is, it has been much better in this run than yeah. in the last run. So far, really, really rising the power rankings. Look, you can even see that it's been torn and not like created. Yeah. Fifth <laughs> from the top and third from the right. I'm assuming. Well, let me try it here. Fifth from the top and the right. Okay. Wouldn't the wouldn't the relevant tile be like a hundred percent on where the curtain is positioned and where you're positioned in relation to it? How could you ever know which tile it wanted you to see? Uh I mean I guess I don't know. Video games is my Video answer. games. Yeah. I imagine it's like oh, when you look at it head on, but you do you are right. There is a there are some some loopholes here oh what do you think you're a knight her protector or something you're creeping me out oh and he's oh junpei touched him with the bookmark open love yeah it's one of his four things yeah whatever man i'm going i get it sand yes. is gonna start pitching us on like being a vol zone oh no he's gonna start getting us to do uh taint sunning Excuse me? Do you not know what that is? No, I don't know what that uh, is. Oh, it was like a thing where like a bunch of those like uh, masculinity influencers would be like, I'm going out in the sunlight and I'm exposing my perineum to the sun. Uh, and so they would just spread their legs and show their taint, like tan their taint, basically. Because um, they think wow. it gives them some more like, I think it was like a sexual vitality thing. I'm really sorry. This is just crystals. It's just like, what if your crystal yeah. was in your taint? Well, this is the thing. Crystals, crystals, crystals for men is meat and taints, as from my understanding. Um, not to do hey, gender theory. Also, regular crystals are also for men. You're right. I'm sorry. What else am I supposed to jerk off near? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Gotta charge up with the bros. Yeah. What are you mumbling about? Did you figure something out? I'm just moving on. <laughs> oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. I thought there was more to this. I feel like I remember there being more to this painting. Okay. F uh, this one. Here it is. Yes, this one's loose. I think I can get under this with my nails and... Yes. Okay, so I've got, I've got, oh, I've got all the pieces. Great. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I really didn't think of any, of what I said until someone in the chat just wrote out crystals for men as meat and taints is certainly a sentence. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm Sorry. Some sort of weird it's black and white out. design. Looks like there's a room on the right side of this picture. Okay. The exit. Lotus and Santa are in the room on the other side. I'm gonna go check up on them. Bada boop. There's a tile in the frame. So I guess I'm supposed to put tiles in empty spaces. All right, I wanna give it a shot. Oh. It is kind of funny how the, uh, the facts and logic kind of right-wing lunatic sort of lost to the like, eating raw bull testicles yeah <laughs> kind of right wing lunatic yeah if you had it like 10 12 years ago that would have seemed impossible the joe rogan influence cannot be understood i know i know yeah i did it picture complete and there goes the frame what's this what do you mean what's this pretty obvious isn't it it's a hole in square. the wall. It's a whole square hole. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> like a hidden safe God, or something. God, Lotus you know? is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she believes in the four things I hate. Hope, love, luck, and faith. Mars key. Whoa, this is one of those Mars symbols. The door at the end of the hallway. It has the same symbol engraved on the keyhole. And that's got to mean... Yes, we can use this key to get through that door. Is... Someone says I love the explanation for this painting. What's the deal with this oh, okay. picture anyway? I guess we're here now. It's a woman sucking up I, a brain. That's what we heard from I think I've seen June. this picture before. 
Oh. Where? In a book. Oh, well. In the other room. <laughs> There's a British biochemist named Sheldrake. He has a rather interesting oh. theory. Oh, let's go. It's Lotus time. Lotus time. I saw All this right. picture in, in his book. What's this interesting theory? Morphogenetic fields, which are oh, the theory go. of morphic resonance. The morphogenetic field, morphic, morphic resonance. Genetic field. I could not begin to guess what that's about. This. Just listening to you talk about it is giving me a headache. It's not a difficult concept to grasp. In essence, he states that the shape of living organisms and their behavioral patterns are transmitted through a field not visible to the eye. Uh, oh my god. He's isn't difficult, exactly. All right, how about this? This ties into her other shit. Theory of the telepathic mechanism. Telepathy? Oh, this one I know. Yeah, I get this one. Yes, telepathy. Well, perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it's close enough for but a simple like approximation. But like beaming stuff into your brain. <laughs> <laughs> like a computer to a monitor. Are you serious? Yeah. Telepathy? Who do you think we are? Kids from the 70s? Damn. I can't believe someone would actually do serious research on something like that. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I read the book. <laughs> the change on a spray. <laughs> Back to picking my I'm ear. I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. It was probably just someone latching on to a statistical outlier from some study and turning it into a ridiculous theory. There's no scientific merit to any of it, I'm sure. But I'm still going to tell you all about it. Even Didn't so, she say she was I... in no position to judge its merits? Yeah. Like one second ago? Uh, I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. There's no scientific merit to any of it, I'm sure. Literally yeah. but two sentences ago. Um. Anyway, I saw a picture like that one in his book. Hey, what do you think this picture looks like? I know what answer to What do you here. mean? Isn't it just like abstract or something like that? It's just black and white scribbles. There's no meaning there. That's it. What about you, Junpei? Does it look like anything to you? Dark Souls boss. Mm, I, I guess it looks like... It's clearly Funyarinpa. I don't know what that is. It's fine. Uh, 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 uh Funyarinpa. See? I, I mean, this totally looks like one. And here, and here. <laughs> what the hell is a Funyarinpa? What? What, what do you mean? What the hell is a Funyarinpa? <laughs> yeah, oh, mean, he's mechly with her? Know? Yeah, this is like a very famous scene in this game. How the hell would I know? How could you not know? <gasps> that's whew, that's practically blasphemous. She doesn't know what Funyarinpa is. Oh, oh, say you're sorry. Apologize to the Funyarinpa. Goodness. You are such a rude woman. Oh my god, Junpei's a flying spaghetti monster guy. He totally is! Junpei, are you oh just no. <clears throat> Forget it. I'm just gonna tell you. Um Funyarinpa ends up being like an Easter egg in a lot of Uchikoshi stuff where it'll just someone will make an offhanded comment related to it and something and people will be like, what? Uh, yeah. It's like the first time it shows up, I'm pretty sure, but I feel like I swear to God, there was a reference in one of the Somnium Files games to it, but maybe I'm wrong. This is a dog. No, it's a Funyarinpa. See? Like this. Buppy! Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah. So... Hey, I, I didn't know that <laughs> Lotus has the power to overlay pictures on it. It's things. her stand. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. This is also a JoJo game. Junpei, Junpei's last name is Joestar. He's Junpei Joestar. Now we know what it's a picture of, but I, I don't see how that helps us. A TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. They took two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify, initially. But once you figured out the answer, you couldn't see it as anything else. These two pictures... Oh my god. The first was a woman wearing a hat. Oh my god. The other one, well, to make it easier. Was it an old lady? Let's just say it was this picture of a dog. Uh, okay. So, their experiment. Dog wearing a bow tie. It does look like uh, this here, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First, they sent the picture to other parts of the world outside the reach of British airwaves. To Ireland, the US, Africa, I don't know, Europe, I... etc. 
I don't know if Ireland is necessarily outside of British Airwaves that much. I just listen. It's a sovereign nation, separate nation. I'm don't get right. me wrong. I they're well, getting the airwaves. However, though. I do think that proximity. Anyway. Then, in each country, they gathered a number of test subjects, roughly a thousand people. They were shown the two pictures and asked, what does this picture look like to you? And they all said Funyarinpa. <laughs> the results were all really 1, interesting people. on their own. <laughs> Every single one of them. Which is weird that I didn't know what that was when you said that, Junpei. 9.2% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. Okay, likely place for her to be. 3.9% saw the dog in the dog picture. Then, two days later, they aired a new program on their show. During the 30-minute show, they broadcast the dog picture and its solution. Solu uh, I guess the... The, the audience her was estimated to be 200,000 people. Version? Okay. After the broadcast, it was a safe bet that the number of people who knew the solution to the dog picture was at least that many. About 200,000, okay. After another two days passed, they gathered more research subjects from areas outside the reach of British TV and radio. This time, they only found a sample of roughly... So glad they didn't edit this down. No, me neither. None of them had participated in the first test. They were, however... Except I'm given the same being genuine. The same two <laughs> The results were startling. The results were startling. These 850 people... ...saw the lady in the lady picture. The previous test sat at a 9.2% success rate. Not much of a change statistically. Okay. The dog picture, however, produced a very different result. Whoa. The percentage of people able to successfully find the dog, it went from 3.9% to 6.8%. Okay, that's less than I was expecting. <laughs> it's a lot less than I was it's expecting. It's a lot less than I was expecting. It's a lot less, not even double. So do you understand? Do you realize the significance of this experiment? Not really. There was no way the second group could have seen the picture. They lived far away from Britain and couldn't have seen it. But even so, it was only the success rate for the dog picture that went up. <laughs> Why? How did that happen? <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, more pugs. There's just a population of people that are more likely to own a pug. Yeah, people, I think it's a French bulldog. Oh, sure, yeah, it does look different. It is puggy, yeah, it was France. It was France, so there's a lot of French bulldogs there. A field That's not probably visible it. to the eye. More, the, some sort of morphogenetic oh. field. So, if more people know the answer, then that information will pass through the field. Hmm. Huh. She is 100% a conspiracy theorist. Hmm. Yeah, she also has a TikTok account, but she only has 2,000 followers. She did it again. She did the, she did I'm just again. kidding. Oh, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. You really shouldn't take me serious. I'm... All women know. Does she how know to do the situation bisexual, that we're in eat, right now? And lie. No, I don't think she does. She just but wasted another well, forty-five I mean, minutes. The things I just told you about are true. They really did happen. <laughs> she just she's... so once again she she once again she she told us a long thing about a crazy conspiracy theory, yeah. and then said, "Just kidding." Well, it's not really that I was kidding. It's just that I don't care. Yeah. Once again, <laughs> it, 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 it's kind of her classic move. Uh, I do think it was, she felt jealous of all the bookmark talk. Pile of pillows. Pile of pillows. Yeah. <laughs> she was also just kidding about that. But the results of that experiment really aren't anything to go by. They could have easily falsified them. In the end, I'm sure they were just in it for the ratings. They are a TV station after all. Okay. <laughs> That's such an insane thing to jump to. Like, they were yeah, lying, not just some it. other Happy statistical anomaly they couldn't account for. Yeah, it's not like these things don't happen. Right. And then again, I, Santa, uh, you you got me there for a minute. Serious. Again, all, you know, in the reality of this, at, at least, all of that stuff happened. So yeah. she didn't get you with anything, except for seeming like she cared. And also, you seeming like you believed all of that with your delivery here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which I don't believe. I don't not. believe that she doesn't care about this stuff. No, me neither. I think she cares way too deeply. Like I told you before, I'm sure it's all just pseudoscience. Uh, oh, okay. Right. <laughs> 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 Pretty good. <laughs> all right. Enough nonsense. We've got the key. Let's get out of here. Word. Word. 
Junpei in the other room eating dry cereal. Not visible to the. I mean, June in the other room. <laughs> yeah, she's just hanging out, sitting on the couch, both hands at her side. I wonder if they're yeah. gonna get me. <laughs> Morphogenetic field. We just forget her in there and keep going. Yeah. Um. I think we. I have to keep. I have to keep my mind open for potential zeros. You yeah, know, I decided very early on that it was June. I think episode one, I decided you that it was June. You pretty much immediately were like, it's June. Uh, um, it's weird that she knows you. <laughs> uh, but I do, so, but I, I, but, you know, there's a bunch of fucking weirdos here. It doesn't have to just be June. Yeah, there is. I, the, the problem is there's nine freaks here. Well, eight. One of them died. And I'm counting Junpei among the freaks. Just to be clear. Wait, who's getting June? Was that? It was Santa who's getting June. And unlocked. Good job, Junpei. Good, now we can get going. Come on, what are you guys standing around for? Let's get out of here. What about June? Hey, Jumpy, where are you going? Oh, okay. I was gonna go get you. I know, Santa told me. Come on, let's go. Okay, I misunderstood. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go. We did it. You found it. Devil says Junpei is absolutely the least of the freaks somehow. It's just because he's too dumb to like be that weird. Yeah. He just doesn't know enough oh, about another anything. Hallway. I'm sure just give him enough time with these and he will, uh, you know, adapt to their freakness. Another hallway. Come on, open. It's not going to open because you rattled it, you know. Damn it! Maybe Look will. Over here. Elevators. He could keep and trying. Buttons. I misread buttons as buffoons just now. <laughs> uh, of course they don't work. The power must be out here too, just like by the staircase. That leaves this door. Well, looks like we don't have any choice. Time to die. Yeah. <laughs> sure does. Well then, let's open Explosions it. all go off at once. All right, here I go. Oh, so it's a kitchen. Oh. What were oh. you expecting? Isn't it obvious? The exit. I was hoping this would be the way out of here. <laughs> you really think it'd be that easy? Yeah, yeah, I know. Still. If we can just get through this door, we should come out on the other side of that Oh, we're going song. straight into another puzzle. Hmm. Wow. <sighs> no good. What? He didn't sorry, say I sorry, I didn't guess that was... That, he just said no good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, let's take a look. I wonder if they forgot to record hey. that line. What's that? <laughs> what? What the? What's what? that thing? Ah, flat snake. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, uh, I guess I forgot to tell you. I found this a little while ago. It's a map of the B deck, and I eat a. Let me see that. I knew it. See, look. Oh. Yes, yes. Hold finger. your horses. Oh, sorry, that was me. That was you. Around. Wow, that was really yeah. good timing. No. I, yeah, I was just, I just have a. Wow. Really are the king of Foley. Thank you. What did you figure out? This is handy. See, we came in here. Now, if we go out there, I love then we'll be on the other side. How fuzzy this still is. I it's forgot. really funny. I really it's forgot so how low res. Every time they show a map, it's how like. How about that? She's right. <laughs> it's like someone drew there. it with their finger in sand. Yeah, you can see each individual pixel. There we go. <clears throat> Here, you can have it back. Thanks. Or it kind of looks There's like a, a poorly right healing tattoo door. on somebody. <laughs> and that means the key card is somewhere in here, right? I mean, presumably. That seems the uh, Thank you to Farm Lesbian who subscribed with Prime. We are trying to get all the different geographies. <laughs> the, the, different, of the different type of lesbians. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, we appreciate your support. I love being able to say shout out Farm Lesbian. All right. We know what we need to do then. 
If you've got Prime subs, we'd love to have them. But if yeah. you don't, and we you need give planes us... lesbian, we need. Oh my god, um, <laughs> swamp lesbian, step lesbian, uh, mountain lesbian. Mountain. Oh yeah. Or is that lesbian. is that a step? Um, no, that's different. That's different? different. Okay. Peninsula lesbian. Savannah lesbian. Big city lesbian. Big city small lesbian. city lesbian. <laughs> Big city lesbians on the call right now. Um... <laughs> Big city? Yeah, big Let's city. Hey, first off, uh, say you know, the country that I'm in? He's pretty big. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Hey, it's big. It's definitely a major city. I would never take that from you. <laughs> don't, don't do small city humiliation on stream to me, dude. Oh, okay. this got full Scooby Doo there. Let's split up and look for clues. Okay. All right. Kitchen. Kitchen. I'm not going to lie. I do remember a little bit about this one. But I don't remember how it starts. It's funny because you remembered so little of any of the other rooms. Yeah. So it must have just like taken paths that you didn't take. We did. And also there, I remember getting stuck in this one um, and being very frustrated. <laughs> And then, I bet drinking tea from this pot would be really yummy. Do you uh, think so? You don't drink tea from pots. You drink tea from cups. Get her ass. Get her. <laughs> Get her. Yeah, I think I know a little bit about this. Drag her king. Spending a day off with June. Drinking tea. Could such a day ever happen for me? And then the beat kicked in. Like it was... <laughs> I was rapping that or some shit. Jumpy? Oh, hype train incoming. We just, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, nothing. <laughs> we don't really need help. Oh, we have a limited time to earn exclusive emotes. I don't know what that means. I, I actually also don't. I don't really have... understand any of how uh, Twitch works. Um, I know that we have Twitch emotes, but I don't know if we have exclusive ones for hype train. Yeah, I don't know if we do. It might just be Twitch wide ones. I don't know. Can you tell I put a lot of time into thinking about Twitch? Yes. <laughs> Got a bunch of stuff written on them. It doesn't look like a code or anything like that. Sink. Oh, plates in the sink. Sink. It's still got water in it. There are a couple plates in here, but I don't think they're going to help us much. Oh, man, you don't know that. A whetstone. Looks kind of dry to me. Aw, oh, shit. Don't tell me you're going to try and smash open the card reader. Are you an idiot? If you do that, then we'll never get out of here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I guess that would be bad, huh? It's only going to be useful if we need to sharpen something, which we definitely won't ever. Don't let... Yeah, Clover's not here, so... Yeah, don't let Clover near it. Oh, my God. We don't need her to have a more efficient axe. Trash can, nothing inside of it. Well, better than being full of rotten food, I suppose. Uh, turns out she also didn't need her to have a more sharpened axe. No, she just needed to believe in herself. Yeah, she was fine with the axe she had. Oh. What's, oh, we gotta find a code. What? 9999. Oh. I'm gonna try it. I guess is that it'll open if we put in the correct code. Buns are friending. We don't have the passcode yet, though. I should. Aww. Can't even guess. Can't even guess. Oh, that's Come on, it's a one a, like... in a million chance. Give people the chance to guess. I feel like that's absolutely uh, like we can't make let people guess because they'll look it up online. There's nine plates. Plates are appetizers. Remember, appetizers usually come on square plates. Sure. Okay. Okay. Well. Ex oh my God. I forgot that this was made in 2009. Right. Yeah, he's doing Steve Martin. Well, excuse me, princess. Fucking Christ. 2009. Appetizer 9, meat dish 10, soup A, seafood dish F. Oh, it's got to do with the numbers of the plates. There's 10 of them. They look like hats. The middle is super deep. I love plate. appetizers usually come on square plates. That's the funniest. That is such like a bizarre assumption. It's true though, right? 
I don't think it's true. <laughs> no, I don't think it's true. You sure? I think sometimes they do, but sometimes a burger and fries comes on a square plate. Uh, you know, yeah. like just get, it just it just one of those things sounds right, but it's just some crazy thing someone made up to facilitate the game being. <laughs> sounds like Lotus. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, it's in, it's in just character. Kidding. Just kidding. Square plates are usually used for square foods. <laughs> If we ever get out of here, you should treat yourself to a nice dinner out. What makes you think a poor college student has the money to do something like that? Damn. Damn. I think there are 15 of these plates. Assuming they're for seafood. Okay, how the hell can you tell that? They just look like any other plate from the 99 cent store. If you ever take a lady out to dinner, you're going to embarrass yourself. I feel but sorry for you. the plates came from? I guess. They give you the plates. You don't have to tell the waiter what kind of plate you want. Hey, could I get a soup plate for my salad? Can we get a... What, 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 why the hell are you bringing up June? The lady doth protest too much, methinks. Wow. You are not wow. terribly subtle. Okay, and so that was... Where's the lady? Yeah, I, you know. It's... Could be. Give time to figure it out. Oh, it's a Ruffles plate. Little wavy oh, ridges. Yeah. Those plates are for serving meat. Ugh, you really are ignorant on you, aren't you? Come on, it's not like I need to know this crap. I was liking Lotus in the last room. In this room, I don't like Lotus. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Okay, wait, did they say how many there were of those? Oh, well, I didn't mean to click that. I would imagine food is put here after it's prepared so that the waiter and waitresses can take it out to the customers. But something doesn't seem right here. Why are there so many plates? Uh, so many plates for so many foods. Oh, I accidentally clicked on something. This veggie doesn't match the number of plates on the table. It says appetizer 9, meat dish 10, soup A, seafood fit dish F. And the plates on the table are 9 appetizers, 16 meat, 10 soup, 15 seafood. Maybe they're using hexadecimal mm. here. One of the plates is red herring, and that's the one that's the seafood plate. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you motherfucker. 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 10, 11. You're familiar with base 10, right? <clears throat> That's the normal system of numbers. Base 10 equivalents for X dem decimal numbers would go like this. A equals 10, B equals 11, C equals 12. We've done this before. Another hexadecimal puzzle, yeah, wow. Yeah, and 10 equals 16. The 10 becomes 16 base 10. I know it sounds strange, but you can think of it as just six letters added onto the normal number system after nine. Okay. But that, so, okay. So we need, a, F is 15, A is 10. X, nine, I'm trying to read it. Yeah, I gotta I be honest, you know, I feel like I've been a pretty good help on, on, on the puzzle so far. Yeah. But when she started talking about plates, I like checked out. No worries, man. The puzzle. Here's a little quiz for you. What would 9 plus F be in base 10? F is 15, so it'd be uh, 24, yeah. Good job, you're a fast I was actually learner. just about to say that, so good. Uh, there are 10 she didn't even need to test me. Nine plates are appetizers. But, okay, can I rearrange them? No, it just tells me. Yeah. It seems like I need to remove some of the plates. It says F on the voucher. There's 16 meat plates. 16 is written as 10 in hexadecimal. That is nuts. Is <laughs> <laughs> um, it be on the file here, maybe? Oh. Yeah, it's not telling. Okay, a countertop. We got a rolling pan and a colander. Nothing useful, in other words. I'm very mad at them for not letting me see what the plate numbers are supposed to be. Pot on top of the stove. There's some ingredients around here. I could cook something up for us. Lotus, you can actually cook? Who the hell do you think I am? You better believe I know how to boil hot water and put in my instant noodles. Damn, she's so crazy. Damn. And then I can boil eggs, too. The pile of pillows moment. Pile of pillows. God, she's so wacky. Kind of look in the sink. Or... No, those plates don't matter, I guess. Sink with water in it. There are a couple plates in the water. Yeah, man. There's a... Oh. I 
Hey Santa, could you open that door, please? What the hell? What the hell? There's no way I could open that thing. I'm glad there's another character to say what the hell sometimes. Yeah, it's nice. It's good. It's good to sort of like bring the phrase into to the spotlight in more than one way. What the hell? You're getting to that age where your eyes are starting to go. You better watch your mouth, boy, or someone won't live long enough to see that door open. God damn. Why does everyone call her old? I she, don't understand. She's like 40, I think. And it's she like, looks younger than 40. She looks younger than 40. And also, oh. like... Honestly, I didn't know that she yeah. had a canonical age. They mention it in one of the... In our last route at some point. Oh, okay. I can go in here. One need cheese. cheese. Yeah. Hey, there's something well. behind the cheese. You're right. Why don't we move some of the cheese? That's right. a great idea, June. Let's move some of the cheese. All right, guys. Time to move it. June and I need to look behind you. Talking to the cheese. There's a little green bottle back there. A bottle of oil. Oh, look, cooking oil. Could probably use this to make something slippery. <laughs> okay. There are a number of cheeses lined up on the shelf. This is Gouda cheese, the most famous Dutch cheese. Yeah, but what kind of cheese? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I was about to do that joke. So you can store it at room temperature for quite a while. So we can eat this? Most likely. Uh, I'm not hungry at all. I guess it's hard to get hungry in a situation like this. Bro, nah, I'd... let's go nutty on some Gouda. Knife. A rusty knife? I don't think we'll be able to use it while it's like this. I wonder if we have something that could help. It's futile. Wh futile. Mm. What? It's you bolded. Know, a waste, useless, pointless. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, futile. Uh, any particular reason you wanted to bring that up? Oh, no reason, really. She stuffs flashcards in her pocket. She really does just seem to have like a word of the day calendar. I was just thinking about futility. Okay. Huh? Okay, Zero. Why were you thinking about futility? Well, she hates hope, love, luck, and faith. Yeah. Well, it has something to do with the Titanic. The Titanic? Yeah, yep. escape was futile. <laughs> Have you ever heard the story? The, the piano the that hits when you know she's about to start talking about some shit. <laughs> uh, oop. Did not mean to hit that button. Um, I'm going to say no, I haven't. No, I'm not. Tell me about no, it. I, I haven't. What is it? In 1892, 14 years before the Titanic sank, a novel was published. It was called Futility. Uh, sure. It was written by an American novelist named Morgan Robertson. I was gonna say, you seem to know a lot about the Titanic, June. Yeah. Interesting. The story was about a big cruise ship colliding with an iceberg and... Sank. By the way, it's not suspicious that I'm obsessed with the Titanic. <laughs> it's normal, actually. Of course, if that was the only similarity, there wouldn't be any reason to mention it. It wasn't, though. The name of the ship its nationality, course, departure time, size, displacement, maximum speed, number of passengers and crew, the number of lifeboats, even the location of the accident itself, and the cause, and the location of the damage. Everything matches the Titanic almost exactly. Sure. Mm, almost doing a lot of heavy lifting it there. Almost uh -huh. as if he'd seen almost. the thing happen. But this book was written 14 years before the Titanic sank. The fucking uh, morphogenetic field told him about the Titanic. Oh my God. Morphogenic? Do you think that she saw morphogenic field, yeah. yeah. I said morphogenic. Do you think that she saw the James Cameron movie, uh -huh. Titanic, and went, oh my God, I want my true love to die in front of me, drown in the icy water. <laughs> I gotta pull this off. I hope so. I need that for me. But that's not all. I wanna be that old lady it someday. It wasn't just utility that predicted the sinking of the Titanic. There were two other similar stories written by a man named William Thomas Stead. Both of them before the accident. Okay. One in 1886 and one in 1892. Stead wrote two stories that had striking similarities to the Titanic disaster. In one, two ships collided. Many of the passengers died because there weren't enough lifeboats. What are we doing? In another, a ship 
uh, Wendell Sweet said, if she isn't zero, I still think she killed someone. <laughs> Which is already true of one of the other girls here. That, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I'll give you that it seems a little weird, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to hit icebergs back in the day, or even other ships. Right. I knew you'd say that. Hmm? But I prepared. What if Stead had some sort of special power? Once again, she's up on the talking points. Yeah. What she if Stead had some sort of special power? This is those fucking made by gamers like fake podcast TikTok. Oh it's like, but but uh, Jumpy has an extra mode that nobody knows about. And look, it's John Pork. Now I know this is all easily explainable by coincidence and happenstance. However, but what if someone had special powers? What? Uh, automatic writing? Wait, are you are you talking about when someone's possessed by a spirit and then they they write a bunch of stuff without knowing oh, what they're writing? Like their brain is not the control center and it's being broadcast to it. Mm, like a nen power, like a demon world nen yes. power. Oh my god. Like like Light Nostrad's daughter? What do you mean, yes, that stuff's a load of bull. Damn. Okay, let's say, hypothetically, that automatic writing isn't a total load. <laughs> now I'm picturing someone in this game explaining demon world theory. <laughs> These guys still couldn't have- Yeah, June is one minute Titanic. away from talking about demon world. Oh, I wish she would. She'd love our show. But she'd think it was real. Oh yeah, absolutely. She'd be like, uh, this happened. This happened. What if it actually happened? <laughs> when this dead dude wrote his thing, what nobody book had died on the this. Titanic. It what lines up exactly with what if it actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> so if automatic writing is about being It's like almost dead, real. Who the hell possessed him so he could write that stuff? That's not it. What's not it? Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. He was doing the possessing. What? Oh. He possessed the captain of the Titanic. Hmm. I hope that's what she says, dude. What are you smoking? <laughs> Damn, great question. Every time we leave the room, she's like goloming to herself. Like, you're supposed to be making you fall in love with you and you keep talking about ghost and shit. Be normal. Be normal. <laughs> William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes 20 years before it happened. Um, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, ha ha. Um, well, uh, ha ha. Well, uh, why, why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? Huh? But... Come on, let's get back to it. Ah, oh. <laughs> the, the end of that conversation Insane. was really funny. Oh my god. The blade of the knife is getting sharper by the second. I should be able to cut something pretty good with this. Santa, come here. Wow, it's so shiny. Did you sharpen it, Jumpy? Yep. Now we can use it to cut something soft. Like some cheese. Come on, let me, aw. Fine. There's cheese on this shelf. Sweet. It is, yeah, pretty cool. By the way, I would have taken some of that cheese. These people have eaten. I would have too. Like. Who doesn't like a nice howda? Is that how it's supposed to be pronounced? Yeah, in Dutch or whatever. It's Gouda. Pressure cooker, we could just use some of those as weapons. <laughs> Kind of an idiot, are you? <laughs> Gonna run around holding that thing while you're looking for the dead? By the way, aged Gouda, that's like one of the best cheeses in the world. It Hell tastes yeah. like caramel. Oh, fuck, wait, now I'm now Yeah, I'm it tastes like nutty caramel, like toasted peanuts and caramel. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. But hey, I should allergic try it. Peanut. I'm allergic to peanuts, I mention that every time yeah. I can. Yeah. It's one of my three personality traits. For pity, for pity points. Absolutely, once people know that I'm frail and weak, they, they look at me differently. Just make sure you don't meet anyone who schemes. Oh, mm, not the problem. I meet a lot of schemers. 
Yeah. Metal, they make it like that so the fat and juices can drip off the meat while it cooks. Okay. Uh, a small dragon is a sweet cheese. It looks savory to me. It is savory. It's not like it's got, it's like a little bit sweet. It's kind of both, but it is mostly savory. So it's like, what if, what if caramel was mostly savory? It's good. That sounds all I know right. I it sounds weird. Go try, go try some aged Gouda. It's really good. I'm going to pop, pop out and get some right after those. Area under the plate opens up. No, you can't. I already checked. It's sealed shut. I think that's where the coal goes. So wait, is there nothing here we can open on this grill? Like it's going. It's a grill. Scoop so coals down there. They're bright red. Is that something? Nope. Okay. Rational Pie says, what do I think is the third best cheese? Um, oh. I think that the third best cheese might be like a really strong brie, like a mushroomy brie. Nice. Number one is, I think, uh, Humboldt Fog. Humboldt Fog? Yeah, it's like a weird, it's sort of like a blue cheese. It's like a semi-soft blue cheese where it's like crumbly on the edges, but like gooey in the middle. And they layer it with wood ash. Okay. With like ash inside of it. It's really good. That sounds pretty all right. I got really thrown off by Santa saying, like, threat. He, he was looking through the trash, and Lotus said it suited him, and then he said, I should throttle you, and then she said, Excuse me. <laughs> She's so crazy. She loves making puns. Uh, Parmesan is up there. Parmesan is really good. good. I like a good Havarti. Like really good Parmesan. Our Havarti's good. I, eat, I make grilled cheeses with Havarti. Parmesan is one of those ones that is like got a really high ceiling where it's like normal Parmesan is 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 good and then nice Parmesan is like really, really good. Uh, raclette. I like raclette. Have you ever had a raclette sandwich? I don't think I've ever had raclette. Ever. Ah, it's it's very French, so maybe they've got it in Quebec. Um, okay. You go, you basically, it's a super low melting point cheese, so you like put it in a tin over a tea candle, and it like melts into like a bubbly mess. Uh, or you can bake it and then like keep it warm over the yeah. candle or whatever. But you just like put it on a sandwich with like roasted vegetables or like a meat or something, and then it's like, you know, super 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 melty cheese and like broccoli and meat fuck dude i'm this is making me great. hungry this is making almost me dippable. genuinely hungry it's an almost dippable cheese i oh cheese dip is it like it's always a good time but like having a one that isn't like a cheese sauce sounds really nice orange soda is a good sharp cheddar america is a cheddar country and i and i appreciate that i love cheddar um, I do think I figured out how to keep advancing in the puzzle, which is I got to pour oil all over this rusty. Sorry, puzzle. it wasn't to talk about cheese. No, I mean, listen, I am fine with the cheese conversation. I just wanted to make sure I was talking about what was going on in the, sc the stream instead of silently just doing the puzzles. That's OK. What are we doing? Try, I don't know. Just trying to get into this. We this... cut the cheese. I remember that. We didn't actually. Oh, we moved it and there was a bottle behind it. I got it. You got you, you little bastard. You did it, Jumpy. You're so smart. Uh, people talk about cheddar. I like a Dubliner. Oh, Dubliner God, it's cold is like here. it's like cheddar. It's an Irish cheese. It's a little bit yep. nuttier, I think. It's got like a, like a tiny bit of sweetness and nuttiness in there, but like otherwise, it's like very cheddar-ish. Um, really great and pretty easy to find, at least on the East Coast in American supermarkets. Yeah. So try a Dubliner. Good advice in general. What is this place? Are you blind? Yes. Are you blind? Are you are fucking stupid. It's that it's the secret fifth thing that I hate. <laughs> cold. Oh, no way. That's way too cold for me. I'll freeze solid in seconds. Sorry. She does have a I'm point. I'll have to pass on this one. I'm going to leave the rest to you. Oh, whoa. She's not really so much more here. dressed than Santa. No, I mean, Santa's also not dressed for the weather, but hey, you she don't need especially to isn't. You had a fever just a little bit ago. You should stay outside. We got this. No, I'm fine. 
My fever's Yeah, she's dressed up. for it. She knew there was a freezer here. I wonder why. Hmm. Uh, so this freezer is the thing I remember. Huh? Wow. Like the plot or the this puzzle bit. or both? Where the door freezes. Um. <gasps> no. Why did it suddenly close? Why did it suddenly close? Why are you closed? <laughs> Tell us why! The people of Toronto want to shop! Why are you closed? Why are you closed? That isn't Toronto. That is, I can walk to where that happened. <laughs> Let the police cut off my balls. I don't mind because it's the cops and they're always right. <laughs> On uh, what right do you exclude the population? Why? <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, I got that on the soundboard. Good. The knob's frozen. Oh no, that's uncomfortable. But why? It looks like the pipe next to it broke and... Hey, Lotus! You're out there, right? Open the door! What do you want? What's Why are you on? close to the public? The door won't open. <laughs> Try opening it from that side. Doesn't anybody Please. care? <laughs> oh, fine. Like if you say so. Hold on. It's no use. It won't budge. You've got more people in there. You figure it out. <laughs> you you solve it. Oh. The frozen ones do it. God damn it. Anyway, uh, let, let, let's find a way out. Oh, if we gotta find a way out with it while finding a way out. We're gonna be permanent residents. T two heads are better than none. I I'm sure. What about three? We'll yeah, out. wait a minute. I mean, she's calling Santa stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're right. Let's just take a good look around this room. Okay, right. Sturdy rope. Oh. A water bottle. Yes, it is. Okay. No. No. Okay. Yeah, you know, thought I'd see. Is there anything here that looks useful? Okay. We got all this stuff from that little hatch. This thing's frozen solid. This pork? Yeah, it seems like it. It looks like a tag or something. Chunk of pork. Oh, is there a slip of paper in that meat? I think there's something written yeah. on here, but I can't read it like this. We That's where I keep my notes. Yeah. Doesn't everybody? Take a little side of pork. Put things you need to remember in there. And when you're, you don't need to remember it anymore. You've got dinner ready to go. You just t toss that on the grill. Okay. How about this? Dry ice. Can't you make stuff that... Can't you make that stuff cause an explosion if you seal it in something that's airtight? Explode. Yeah, didn't you do that in school? You should never underestimate the power of expanding gas. Gross. Yeah. Speaking of the power of expanding gas. Yo! I think you're about to fart. <laughs> Dry ice is just frozen carbon dioxide, right? I mean, I knew it was a possibility. Yeah, it definitely sounded like it. Not the noise, but like that you were leading up to it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. I wonder how warm it has to get for it to, to turn back into gas again. Hell if I know. How is that going to help us anyway? Oh, well, I figured we might be able to use it to get out of here. Carbon dioxide sublimation point is negative 109 degrees. Okay. Any warmer than that, and it'll turn into gas. Any lower, and it becomes a solid. Oh, how do you know that? Design well, the puzzle that you're in. my looks, <laughs> I'm the clean... Oh, <laughs> the queen of random knowledge. The clean... The clean... She's so she the clean? Yeah. The clean. 
the queen of random knowledge. Looks bad. Despite my looks, I'm the queen of random knowledge. What do you think that means? Argle mouth? Argle mouth. Arc <laughs> yeah, yes, clean. Argle, Argle mouth. mouth. Oh, you're so cold, your mouth's going numb? Yes, that's fight. <laughs> wow. Yes, clean. You're just doing that on purpose, aren't you? Come on, guys. Don't you think that's kind of weird? I wonder why I it doesn't turn into weird. a liquid first. Um, he wanted what? He wanted to be out of the freezer now. Oh, so oh, no, oh but it's okay. Good. Junpei, oh, okay. Junpei wanted to be out of the freezer now, or did he think it's odd? Um, uh, it, uh, I guess it seemed odd. I feel like it seemed odd will give us more hints to the puzzle. It is kind of weird. Oh, but it can turn into a liquid. Oh, carbon dioxide turns to liquid if you put it under high enough pressure. But at one atmosphere, normal air pressure... It won't turn into a liquid, right? Oh, that's right. Instead of melting, it'll do what's called sublimating and change immediately from a solid state to a gaseous one. See, that is weird. Water's a liquid between 32 degrees and 212 degrees. So why isn't that the case for carbon dioxide? There's a kind of ice that doesn't turn into liquid when it goes uh. above 32 degrees. Hmm? Huh? I heard about it. It's called mummy ice. It's called mummy ice. Mummy eats the ice. Mummy eats the ice, goes frozen, stay pretty forever. Its melting point is 96 degrees. Ice with a melting point of 96 degrees? You mean there's water that freezes at 96 degrees? Yeah, well, you could also look at it as ice that won't melt until it's 96 degrees. Wow, so what's this ice everything. with a melting point of 96 degrees? What's this degrees ice with a melting point of 96 degrees? Ice with a melting point of 96 degrees. Ice with a melting point of 96 degrees is what we're asking about today. Yeah. I heard it's called Ice 9. Interesting number. 9. Ice 9. And you just knew about this, June, huh? Yeah, I heard about this thing called Ice Nine. Ice Nine? <laughs> I like when it's Originally, like he's responding to you. Ice, Ice Nine, nine with my little eye. Invented by a science fiction author. Uh, Originally, Ice Nine was a made up substance invented by a science fiction author. His name was Kotaru Uchikoshi. <laughs> now, it's a Vonnegut recently, thing, scientists right? Scientists have discovered that such a substance actually exists. Wait, hold up. So is this thing called Ice Nine, or is it water? Called like Water said, Nine. If the ice is over 96 degrees, it'll be liquid. If it's under that, it'll solidify. So you could think of it as a polymorph of H2O. Here, think of it like diamonds and graphite. They're both made of carbon, right? Yeah. But depending mm -hmm. on the structure of the crystallization, oh, the hardness and structure are completely <laughs> I like, different. I really like when the voice actor's like, shit, I'm cold. I gotta remember that I'm cold. I gotta remember that I'm cold. I can't just talk about so Ice Nine without shivering. Water and this Ice Nine are like that. Uh, Darkness, your old friend in the chat asks, so is this game good? This game is excellent. I love this game. Right, it's also stupid. Stupid and kind of trashy. But that's why it's great. It wouldn't be great if it wasn't, you know? Yep. Have you heard the story about the crystallization of glycerin? No. For one hundred. Oh, that's a really good my favorite book. Discovery of glycerin, people cooled it, warmed it. <laughs> Let me tell you a tale about the history of glycerin. They did all sorts of things to it. But whatever they did, it never crystallized. However, one day in 1920, some glycerin on its way to England by ship was discovered to have crystallized during the trip. The queen is suddenly talking a lot easier than she was earlier. Yeah, she was just being a goof before. Her mouth is fine. She was just having her pile of pillows moment. Yeah. Scientists around the world wanted to research this new crystallized form of glycerin and asked for seeds. Oh, a seed is a sample of the original crystallized substance. Okay, sure. With a seed crystal, further crystallization of glycerin would be easy. However, 
something very strange happened. Not only did the glycerin encouraged by seed crystals begin to crystallize, even the samples nearby did, even though they were tightly sealed. Okay. And it didn't end there. The insanity per minute of this episode over the other episodes. It feels like we off have the had chart. Yeah. So much more bullshit. Like we, took, day, we took the super the normal route. <laughs> for round one. We kinda did, huh? And now we know June is just a good time. Yeah. All glycerin crystallizes naturally when cooled to less than 64 degrees. Before that day, yeah. no matter how glycerin was cooled, it refused to crystallize. We were hanging out with like Seven and like Ace. Like I don't snake. know enough about science to know if any of this, this is, is bullshit. all made up yeah. or if she's like, uh, I don't even really know what glycerin is. Yeah, I don't really either. All glycerin, okay. Bad day, no matter how glycerin, okay. But once the crystallization had begun, it was almost like, how do I put it? It was almost like all the glycerin in the world was communicating. <laughs> Morphogen morphogenic fields. Oh my God. Fields. Communicating Even glycerin has morphogenic fields. Sense. Um, everything has morphogenic. Did you ever think uh, Ushikoshi read about how like fungus uh, communicates through spores? And oh yeah, like yeah, put yeah, his yeah. fist he's through the drywall when he didn't put it in this. He's seen the gif of the the he's seen the Japanese subway fungus. Oh, I don't know about that. I haven't seen that. Oh, uh, there's like a um, there's a sli it's a slime mold. Uh, that, Santa would love uh, that. He loves slime. <laughs> and Japan. Um, <laughs> there's a slime mold that like really efficiently finds roots from um. A, a, nutrient to nutrient and uh at least what i have heard is that one of the ways that people have done city planning especially in japan is by like looking at efficient points between uh bits of nu nutrients of slime molds i don't know why i've heard this i don't know if I that's don't know. true that's, that's what i've heard cool though it is cool slime mold and now it's happening every Sorry, Windtorn, yes. Santa does not love slime molds. He likes slime Sorry, molds. Sorry, my bad. I forgot that he because hates Because he love. hates love. Yeah, of course, because he's twisted. Because he's twisted. Junpei. Oh, uh, impressed or annoyed? Impressed, I think. I guess, sure, impressed, because he doesn't wow. know. That's, that's pretty interesting. But, uh, this isn't like ghosts where you can go like, I don't fucking believe in ghosts. What does that have to do with <laughs> I don't believe 9? in glycerin. What she's saying is that it's a lot like ice nine. Glycerin is a simple triol compound. Okay. It is a colorless, odorless, viscous liquid that is sweet tasting and non-toxic. The glycerol backbone is found in lipids known as glycerides. It is also widely used as a sweetener in the food industry and as a humectant in the in pharmaceutical formulations because of its three hydroxyl groups glycerol is miscible with water miscible is a property of two subs uh the property of two sub substances to mix in all proportions forming a homogeneous picture huh. it is miscible with water and hydroscopic in nature this is like maybe the really most educational what... stream I've been on, but I'm not learning anything. I'm just sort of having sure. words bombarded at me. <laughs> it's in a lot of shit is kind of my takeaway from that, right? Like glycerol it's, it's is like super like prominent. It seems like what they're trying to say is that it's like, like it is a substance that carries other substances. It's a backbone. It's like a structural okay. compound. Sure. Is that, I think what they're trying to say. That makes sense. But also that it absorbs water. A lot like? Oh, Rodomero in the yeah. chat says it's a kind of goopy liquid. I, you should have just said it's a goopy liquid. I would have gotten that immediately. See that, but that's the thing. I knew, sorry, Sylvie, I apologize. I knew it was a goopy liquid before uh, looking it up. I, yeah. And I didn't know that you didn't know that part of it. I mean, I could assume it was goopy and a liquid, mm -hmm. but you know, I, it's good to have it confirmed. If water everywhere started freezing at 96 degrees, man. It'd be the end of the world. At any rate, I don't know. 
We don't know. have to worry about the end of the world unless you we get out of here pretty damn quick. <laughs> <laughs> right, then once guys, you take it out of the microwave, it's gonna enough. freeze again. I didn't think we'd get quite this far off topic. I mean, I know I'm kind of at fault here, but we can't be screwing around anymore. So seriously, I might go by the name Santa right now, but I didn't grow up in Iceland. Neither did he. Yeah. What? What? I freaking Iceland's not where Santa lives. No, Iceland's not where Santa's from. It's not where he lives. It's not. I don't know if he's ever been from there in any sort of. Like, and by sure... the way, you're probably commonly mistaking Iceland for Greenland. I was gonna say that Iceland isn't even the cold one. So let's get cracking. All right, we gotta find a way out of here. Selfish, isn't he? <laughs> we were having Iceland a lovely conversation. All, but we yeah. Can discuss it more once we get out of this. Just phase. because we're about to die from running out of time in both the immediate sense and in the long-term sense doesn't mean that you and I can have a nice conversation about glycerin. <laughs> <laughs> the pipe burst the water, hit the doorknob, and froze it in place. That water actually seems almost warm. Are we supposed to use this to, like, heat something? Like the water bottle? No. Chunk of pork? No. Okay. Hey Junpei, didn't you find some dry ice earlier? Yeah. Yeah? There's warm water coming out of that pipe. Warm water and dry ice. What do you think would happen if we put that stuff in a sealed container together? That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. Do I need to make a sealed container with what I have here? And how sealed of a container can we even make? Yeah. I'm oh, it's an empty water bottle. I didn't see that it was an oh, empty water okay. bottle. Because it would just... Okay, so we're trying to make, like, a bomb, right? Yeah. What? Uh, like, it's only a bomb... The A bomb can only be as strong as the thing that, like, it's in. Yeah. Can you... Try ice. We might be able to cause something, something airtight and make it melt. Yeah, I thought this would be airtight. Oh, uh, I guess you can't get the dry ice into the bottle. Can you use the knife with the bottle to cut it? No, I don't think we could fit... Yeah, that's a good... Nope. No. Nope. Cut the ice. Knife ice. Knife ice. No. Wait. Fuck. Hold up. Pork ice. Fine. Bash it with the pork. Nope. <laughs> I was really hoping. Everything's hey, we came up with a bunch of really good ideas. Yeah. You know, classic adventure game. We did that. We didn't do the exact. Hey, can we use the knife on the, on the, 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 the water, the warm water, or like the freshly iced? Um, what do you mean here? Uh, the pipe. Oh yeah, no, I clicked it. Oh come on! Do we have to see Santa say this and then now we can combine? I don't even think knife. We, I feel like it's just a that was like a maybe we do, but uh, I if I think that's happened before. No, no, okay. Maybe I got it. Yeah, I'm just saying. No, okay. I was really hoping. Pork, pork. Um, well, there's got to be a basher or something in here, right? Frozen chicken. This is the solution. Really hard. It's frozen stiff. Oh my god! Hey, June, can you say that again? Eh, what? Say it again. Right. It's really hard. Again. It's really hard. The thanks. Something wrong, Junpei? Your face is bright red. Nothing. I'm fine. I'm what kind of fucking sick freak gets that turned on from hearing a, a girl say... A piece of frozen chicken is hard. I'm. I called him Gunpei earlier, and I really stand by it now. What a nasty little pervert. Last death penalty for Junpei. Yep. I think he could have done that with the pork, if I'm being honest. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It really was the chicken and not the pork or the knife. Get fucked. Ac adventure games. Adventure games get fucked. All right. Now I remember what I'm doing here. Water bottle bomb. 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 <laughs> Put water into the bottle with dry ice and make sure the lid's closed. 
Now I just have to put this makeshift bomb on the doorknob. All right, that's set. So, uh, I just need to give oh, it a I little... I accidentally hit the, uh, button. The bottle's already about to pop. If we just throw a rock or something at it, it'll go off all on its own. A small rock. Huh. A small rock. A small rock. All right, a this ought to do rock. the trick. Ah, some dry ice, huh? Not a bad idea. All right, guys, stand back. Actually, we should probably hide somewhere. Where exactly do you expect us to hide, genius? There isn't really. Gonna gently blow the plastic top off the water bottle, and <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah, there is. Look, right here. We can hide in there. Come on, get inside, quick. All right, here I go. Shouldn't they warn Lotus to like stand back? Three, four, five. You're counting the wrong way. Oh, oops. <laughs> Why the fuck? That is a really sad excuse for a joke, man. I think he has terrible timing. Sorry, dude. All right, for real this time. You guys ready? Yes, what? whenever you're Should ready. Should do it again. That would be funny. Just throw the damn thing. All right, here I go. Come on, three, four, five. Three, two, Aww. one. Whoa. Jumpy, the ice on the door, is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The blast must it's have gone. Shattered. Yes. All right, let's see if it opens. <laughs> the <We're> footsteps. <laughs> Move! Damn, dude! Oh, god damn it! Oh, no, 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 no. Did you touch it? God, too cold made me forget about too hot. Well, you Aww. did just grab the grill. What did you think would happen? Hey, where's Lotus? Ooh, uh, welcome back. Oh, uh, she did some sober beta. I'm to get tired of waiting for you yeah. guys. What? were you doing? What do you mean, what was I doing? I was waiting. We were gonna die! Oh, yeah? <laughs> but you didn't. So everything worked out all right, didn't it? Uh, you know? What the hell? <laughs> Just oh, kidding. What the freaking hell? It might not look like it, but I was really worried. Oh, don't give me that crap! Damn. Uh, I'm telling the truth. I mean, if you died, then I'd be in trouble too. If you died, then I'd be stuck here, and I'd die too. See? Uh, uh. I did all I could. I even looked around to see if there was anything I could do. What would you have me do? But I couldn't find anything. So, all I could do was wait. I mean, what else did you want me to do? Call the cops? Fine. <laughs> but there's one thing I have Fine. to ask you. What's that? You didn't close the door, did you? No. Oh. What? You think I closed the door on you? Why would I do something like that? It closed on its own. I told you before, if you die, Easily then testable. I die too. It is true. Yeah, I guess so. If she really wanted to kill us, all she had to do was bar the door from the outside. But she didn't. Well, she didn't do anything. She did nothing wrong, is what I'm hearing. She's I'm hearing she did nothing wrong. Or negligent, at least. Not an attempted murderer. I respect her. Well, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you. Hmm? Oh, yes, well, that's all right. As long as you understand. I love her little hand wave. Hey, does. no more yeah. screwing around, you two. Break time's over. Especially for you, lady. You've just been sitting on that fat ass of yours while we were Brother, freezing to death. why do you say these things? How rude. I was plenty busy. Because it's wrong to have a fat ass. Yeah, that is yeah. not true. <laughs> How about you put it's that wrong. No, it's and I don't want to be Let's right. Go. Uh, grill. Item. That's a frozen, what's that? Oh, okay, we already talked about this. I didn't need to, didn't, yeah, no, I knew that already. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't thought already. We're making dinner, Lotus. Hungry. Are, are you going to do with the paper burns? It'll be fine. It's not going to burn right away, right? Well, they can argue all they want. I'm going to keep an eye on this pork. 
Cool, looks like it's about time. Jumpy, be careful. But I know what I'm... Ouch! You stupid fuck. <laughs> hey, what the hell are you doing? Hurry up and take the paper it's so out. so fucking... She... You, like, accuse her of being dumb for telling you to be careful. Yeah. And, and then, then immediately burn yourself. Oh, sweet, simple June. Think I'm such a fucking idiot to burn myself on the stove. Uh... Ow! Fuck! <laughs> We're like, don't worry, sweetheart. Watch this. Ow! Fuck! Ow! Ow! Oh! This thing's frozen stiff. I can't get it out. Say it again. Oh, no. <laughs> We're gonna have to cut the meat? Oh, say it again. Say it again. We're gonna have to cut the meat. All right, now that I've sharpened the knife, I cut the pork. Yes, I cut the pork. Awesome, Junpei. Awesome, Junpei. Now we can cut out the paper. <laughs> C plus 10 plus F. Yeah, I, I do. C is 13, F is 16? I think so. You think it maybe means corporate finance? What? <laughs> Junpei, go I, to hell. I thought it was clever and funny. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Corporate plus 10 plus finance. Yeah, sounds about right, idiot. So, wait, what was it? It was... C 10... Wait, something plus... It's 10, is, oh, yeah. 10 is 16. Uh, 10 is 16. Okay, so 13 oh, here we plus... Go. Okay, there. Oh, 12 plus 15. I was one off on both of those. 12 plus 16 12 plus 15. Yes. Um, calculating. All right, actually, I'm gonna write that down because you know what? It's probably the pro the code is probably twelve, sixteen, fifteen, right? Yeah, it probably is. We got, but just in case. Just in case. Twenty-seven, thirty-seven, uh, uh, forty-three. Four plus three is seven. Digital root seven. Nice. Digital root seven. Digital root seven. He's so quick with it. Digital root master over here. Will it let me enter something? This is probably what you're supposed to use to enter the password. Maybe if we put the right number, it'll open the oven door. June Payne. Yeah, I think it is just in the, the sequence. I think yeah. so too. 12, 16, 15, right? Uh, yeah, I've got it written down. E is for enter and C is for clearing. Yeah. This really is tutorializing the stuff that we already did. <laughs> was when we had to enter a code in our other path, they did not explain to it to us. Yeah. All right. It's funny how confident they were that we were going to go this way, obviously. Yeah, I guess I they... Think... Oh. 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 It's three. Now I'm confused. Well, wait, because 12 plus 15. Wait, what? You added it up. What was it? Uh, 43. Simple. Boom. Easy. Simple. Easy. We take those. I guess that went well. Yeah, the door opened. Good job, Jumpy. Saturn oh, it's fun. I'm pretty good at addition, so... I passed... You were there when we passed first grade together, June. I think you should remember my arithmetic talents. It's unlocked now. We did it. Let's get out of here. Yes, let's go. <laughs> you found it. We did. And the it was the pork note. I think we've been here before. Oh, I might. I think it might be a good time to, to chill for now. If yeah. they're down. Just Unintended. To... Whoa, shit. Definitely. Um, I wanted to look at the flow chart real quick. Sure. See where we're at comparatively. Okay, we, we have now filled out this side of things. Yeah. So we're back. We're back here. We're back. We're about to. We're about to inflect once again. Mm hmm. Curious. Where do you think you want to go? I don't know. So I, I 
Does this tell me which room this is? No. So um, I remember. So that was the, the, the cat, the uh, the the hospital. It, yeah. There was the two doors that were next to each other, and then there was the blank space, and then there was the one that was further away. And, and we went through the eight. So we went through the eight. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I guess. I guess we'll just see which op options hit us more when we get back to that scene. Mm -hmm. Um. But I'm excited. Probably do it based on who the groups are. I think that's generally going to be our our vibe going forward, at least until it seems like there's just like one more. Maybe path this left. will be the Santa run. Oh my god! I don't. Do we want that? <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I've I've been enjoying the June content. It's. I mean, enjoying is a strong word. I've been enjoying the June content. <laughs> I haven't been enjoying maybe, Junpei hey, getting June horny. Run. Actually, I, I I think that probably it is best to do the June stuff. I feel like... Because of how I think that she's the villain. Of well, the game. yeah, there's that. But also, I love her explanations of things. And we got so much more, like, Uchikoshi-style exposition in this game because we have hung out with her. I already saved it. I'm going to do it again because I like to do that. Uh, Irrational Pisces June is so educational. Yeah, I follow her TikTok and I've learned so much. Yeah. Um, did you know that they're putting um, uh, robots in the vaccines? June told me that. Do you know that sugar in all its forms is poison? That also feels like something she'd say. Uh, I'm going to close this game and we can sign off. Um, this is very fun. I'm I'm really glad that we're. That uh, was a crazy one. Yeah, that was like a real like. We really um. We really got some highs and lows there. Yeah, we got. And they we, were the same moments. And they were. And we also got. <laughs> well, I don't know. There were no lows to to Lotus's really funny joke, if you ask me. Oh, about the pillows. Yeah, yeah I that thought was that was really pretty good. good. Yeah. Pile of pillows. Pile of I pillows. really want to. Know, I really want to know if that like, if that means something that I don't understand, I, or I don't know if it's a reference, or if it's just weirdly trans. I really want to know what the fuck. I'm, if there, if there's even something else to it, or if it's just as it seems a bizarre non sequitur that they treat strangely. Yeah, uh, Addy Alomans in the chat says it could have been wordplay that didn't translate, which I would be my yeah. guess, but I don't know. I just kind of love it on its own. Pile of pillows. Pile of pillows. It's supposed to be some kind of joke. I, I really don't know. <laughs> I really like. What are you doing? What are you doing, Lotus? Well, that's that's literally what Santa said. Right, he does say that. I he forgot. Like, this is kind of joke. Oh, it it's almost weirder boobs. of him to say that. Because <laughs> cause it points it out to the fucking um, it points it out to the goddamn uh, reader. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like it's supposed. It's only weird if it is supposed to be some kind of joke. <laughs> it's God. like if you notice something and then someone's like, "What are you kidding around?" <laughs> maybe. No, maybe I was I just am. saying. Oh my god! Well, thank you so much, Keith. Been, yeah, of course. A lovely time. Um, once again, hey, check out friendsofthetable.shop. Check out friendsofthetable.cash. Yeah, and check out friendsofthetable.shop. And check out friendsofthetable.cash, the yeah. Friends of the Table store and Patreon, <laughs> respectively. Kind of joke. <laughs> joke. Pile of pillows. <laughs> pile of pillows. Um, also, check out Run Button, contentburger.biz. I yeah, plugged your own shit for you. Thank you for the for the run button Patreon youtube.com slash run button. Mm -hmm. Next month is subscribe to run button on YouTube or else month. Yep. Or else. Don't cross me. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 Thanks, everybody.